The story begins on a large private yacht, which sails on the blue waters of the Pacific Ocean, now there were a guy and a girl on it. They were watching an advertisement in which a pretty model played, the beauty sitting on the sofa asked her friend why he was staring at the screen. After all, there is a real goddess next to him, the young man, in an attempt to justify himself, replied that the advertisement was simply shot in an interesting way, his girlfriend was actually a hundred times more beautiful than the model. The girl's name was Lily, she is a popular idol and is dating a guy named Chen, he is very smart and good looking, and he also has rich parents. The hero also had a best friend, Jing Liang, a young man with a strong physique and a cocky character who never misses an opportunity to make fun of his brother. Among other things, the guy with white hair is the son of the head of a successful corporation, a golden youth in the truest sense of the word. Today is Chen's birthday, so the people closest to him have gathered on the yacht, his sister Yin loves to follow the lives of celebrities more than anything else. And his father is the head of the largest technology company, everyone around said that the man was a genius from childhood. A very beautiful and kind woman in a blue dress was his mother, she worked as an actress in the theater, the audience simply adored her. Soon a cake appeared on the festive table, which means it was time to make a wish, Chen was alien to the typical whims of golden youth, on his birthday he wished world peace. In his life there was enough love, friendship, money, the guy literally lived in paradise and didn't even know what else he could dream of. But within a few days his life plunged into the deepest abyss of disappointment and despair, it all started with the company of his father. The head of the corporation's scientific research department told the world that they used stolen technology to develop their product. This news was then reported on all the news, but in fact it was a lie from the very beginning, the man tried with all his might to prove it. Unfortunately, nothing worked out for him, this situation completely destroyed the moral state of his father, in the end he could not stand it and committed suicide. After the death of her beloved husband, the woman completely closed herself off, she did not even talk to her children, but instead constantly cried. The brother and sister hoped that their mother's emotional wounds would heal over time, but one day when they returned from school at six, they saw that the woman had also passed away. These terrible events shook little Yin's psyche so much that her previously almost imperceptible depression became very worse. The girl's condition deteriorated so much that doctors could not even say whether she would ever be able to return to her previous life. The only ray of hope for Chen remained his girlfriend and his faithful brother, at least he could always turn to them for help. For the sake of his remaining loved ones, the guy promised himself that he would never lose heart, he needed to stay strong and hope for the best. One quiet evening, the hero decided to call Lily, they had not seen each other for a long time and he wanted to discuss a lot with her, but for some reason the girl did not pick up the phone. After walking a few meters down the street, Chen suddenly heard his girlfriend's ringtone somewhere nearby, he came closer to make sure. At some point, the guy discovered a red car that belonged to his friend Jing Liang, but what does it all mean? It turned out that the guy's best friend had been dating his girlfriend for several weeks, Right now they were sitting in the car together and kissing. A young man with blonde hair asked the beauty why she didn't pick up the phone from Chen, in fact, now she was much more interested in someone else. The traders did not notice the presence of the hero and continued to go about their business, greedy for money, Lily no longer wanted to meet with him. From their conversation, the guy learned shocking information, it turned out that Jing Liang's family had a hand in the destruction of Chen's father's company. It was very difficult to believe, the young man did not immediately come to his senses, and his whole body was shaking with anger, could his best friend be capable of such an act? Having difficulty restraining his anger, the hero listened to the conversation of the traitors for several more minutes, in the end he had no doubts left. Having finally become convinced of the betrayal of his loved ones, the guy breaks down, he runs up to his former friend's car and kicks it with all his might. Now these scoundrels will definitely answer for their actions, Chen recorded their entire conversation on a voice recorder and will immediately give this recording to the police. When the news spreads across all TV channels, Jing Liang's influential family will go down along with the career of the corrupt model Lily. The beauty and her new boyfriend began to panic very much, they could never allow such an outcome, they urgently needed to find some way. Suddenly the hero noticed a bright light with his peripheral vision, as soon as he looked back he realized that a car was driving towards him at great speed. The former comrade decided to simply get rid of Chen, 
as a result of the accident, the guy flew several meters to the side, and a large puddle of blood was left on the asphalt. Even Lily did not expect such an act, she was very scared and asked her new boyfriend what he had done, they had just killed a man. But Jing Liang was absolutely calm, later he was going to simply pay the person who would take responsibility for this situation. Soon the guy began to lose consciousness, his eyes closing on their own, he could only watch helplessly as his ex-girlfriend and ex-best friend drove away in a red car. Chen was sure that death was inevitable, but at some point his consciousness was transported to an unknown place, it looked very strange. It was a boundless space in which there were no walls or ceilings, after a few minutes the guy came to his senses and opened his eyes. After which, right in front of him, a pretty girl with pink hair appeared out of thin air, she had unusual earrings with her name on her ears. The unusual beauty with ears was called Doka, first of all, she told the hero that she knew all the events that caused him to end up in this place. Now Chen has the opportunity to avenge his family, if he really wants to do it, then he only needs to call Doku. But so far the guy had no idea where he was and what was happening here, with a surprised face he asked the girl to let him out of this place. The beauty with the ears, in turn, assured that the hero needed to calm down a little, because it would no longer be possible to return back to his world. Now it is located in the Temple of Knowledge, all the achievements of human civilization are stored here, which have accumulated over many thousands of years, and Doka is the main one here. And she can help the guy take revenge, Chen, in turn, still understood little, in fact, he only knew a game called Doka. These words made the eared beauty a little angry, is this guy really such a fool, her name means a person who is well versed in some field. In truth, the hero does not care about such trifles, the rage in his heart is so strong that he wants revenge more than anything else. Moreover, Chen still has the recording of the conversation between the two traitors, he only needs to take the evidence to the police, after which their reputation will be destroyed. In fact, everything was a little more complicated, if the guy is reborn, then the world will not be the same, all the tragic events associated with her family will remain, but the record on the phone will disappear. In a new variation of the universe, the accident will happen not because of Jing Liang, but due to the fault of the hero himself, who crossed the road in the wrong place. Fortunately, Chen was hit by a scooter, so his injuries were very minor, only a broken arm, the guy assumed that this would be a parallel world. But this is not entirely correct, he is lucky that he has a faithful assistant, now Doka will explain everything in detail. The fact is that the girl decided to make archival records of all the achievements of human civilization, but an error occurred during the process. As a result of which the entire population of the earth was greatly degraded, the greatest minds pushing the entire civilized world forward disappeared, people turned into idiots. That is why Doka wants the hero to restore the lost knowledge. Human civilization needs to be returned to its original state. To do this, the girl implanted a special smart guy system into Chen's brain. To activate it, you just need to call the beauty with the ears for help. Now it's worth giving instructions, the system will evaluate Chen daily based on his work results, if the evaluation turns out to be bad, he will receive punishment. There is a store where you can exchange points for items, which are divided into one-time and permanent ones. Things that the hero temporarily does not need can be put in a warehouse, the system gives tasks every day, for which he will receive points. There was also one more secret section, but for now it is not available to the guy, Doka will tell you how it works when Chen is ready. The owner of the system immediately agreed to be reborn, he would help the girl correct her mistakes, and she would give her the opportunity to take revenge, the beauty with the ears was even a little surprised. After all, her new friend does not yet know about one important thing, he has training glasses, which are also the glasses of his life. As a gift for a newcomer, he was allocated 10,000 points, every second the guy will lose one point, and when the number reaches zero, he will finally and irrevocably die, if this suddenly happens, then Chen may not hope for a second rebirth. According to Doki, this should have scared the hero, she looked at him excitedly and asked if his body was trembling with fear. But contrary to her expectations, the guy answered in an absolutely calm voice that he was not afraid of death at all, because he had already died once. After which fate gave him a chance to be reborn, the hero simply must take advantage of this opportunity and destroy Jing Liang's life. From now on, Chen's main goal is revenge on his former friend, 
in the name of the honor of his family, he must turn his life into hell. Soon the guy was reborn, after this happened he discovered that the world around him had really changed a lot. Now the most popular queries on the internet were questions about the multiplication tables and the alphabet, this perfectly demonstrated the level of intelligence of those around. At the same time, it was obvious that this was not some kind of parallel world, this was the same universe, but with a very degraded level of development. When Chen's little sister found out about his injury, her condition worsened even more, now, in terms of her development level, she resembled a child. But now the girl was less sad, she wanted to somehow help her brother and she offered to squeeze his hand, maybe that would make him feel better. In an attempt to calm Ian, the guy pretended that he was already feeling better. He really didn't feel any pain at all, because he was filled with anticipation of imminent revenge. A month later, the hero was finally discharged from the hospital and he was able to return to school, he and his sister were taken under the wing of his father's longtime friend. This man's name was Uncle Lee, his little sister's condition required constant supervision, so Chen accepted the help with great gratitude. The new guardian helped the guy enter the most prestigious lyceum in the country, the man asked the hero to behave decently and not attract unnecessary attention. There was no place for ordinary students here, Chuanbua is the best educational institution, where either very smart or very rich students were accepted. However, the guy was not very interested in this, now he had only revenge on his mind, he wanted to take the first step as soon as possible. Suddenly, Chen heard Jing Liang address him from behind, his former comrade hoped that the hero would not survive the scooter accident. After all, this way he could see his parents, the ex-girlfriend was also here, the traitors did not miss the opportunity to mock the guy. To further humiliate Chen, Lily complained about her ex-boyfriend, because in her opinion he was a sad nerd who should not have a girlfriend. Suddenly, Doka appeared out of thin air, she was very angry at the hero's behavior, why he was acting like a brat and not answering anything. Only Chen could see the assistant, but she appeared so quickly that he was even a little scared, the girl with the ears reminded him of a special store. This was a great opportunity to try out a few items in action, and a couple of traders were perfect for the experiment. First of all, you need to activate the system, the guy quietly called the girl's name, but this was not enough, you need to try better. In the end, the hero shouted his assistant's name into the air at the top of his voice, and the rest of the students thought that he had completely lost his mind. Immediately after this, the system was activated, but the store did not have the most interesting items, Doka explained that new goods would appear as the level increased. Since Chen had no choice, he decided to buy all the available items, these were an intelligence reduction cap, a banana peel and a special mask. When using such a mask, a person gains an ability that allows him to insult other people and find their vulnerabilities. When the owner of the system activates it, time stops for others, his former friends decided that the hero injured not only his arm in that accident. Thanks to the special item, Chen knew that his ex-girlfriend hated being called stinky or something like that more than anything else. An outraged Lily couldn't believe her ears when the guy confused her perfume with the smell of a garbage can, she ordered him to immediately apologize. A huge crowd of observers had already gathered around the heroes, all the students began to whisper among themselves and discuss this situation. Meanwhile, the beauty with the ears was dancing with happiness, this is what a real owner of a smart guy system should be like, the fools didn't know who they were messing with. In an attempt to defend his girlfriend's honor, an enraged Jing Liang called Chen a moron who entered their academy without even passing the exams. The traitor accused the hero of corruption, because in his opinion, such garbage could only get into their prestigious academy thanks to a bribe. To further humiliate the bully, the owner of the system suggested that he arrange an intellectual competition, they should ask each other one question. If Chen does not answer Jing Lian's task, he will immediately leave their school, and if everything happens exactly the opposite, then his former friend will kneel. The traitor was about to agree, but he was immediately pushed aside by another student who offered his help in the battle of wits. This guy was considered a genius by everyone, he took first place at the International Mathematics Olympiad, and even the newspapers wrote about this prodigy. In fact, the vaunted smart guy doesn't even have a chance against the hero, because he has already managed to look at all the textbooks of his classmates, all of which are essentially manuals for degenerates. The winner of the prestigious Olympiad was named Chayu, he wanted to be the first to ask his question, 
the hero had to say what number would be obtained if 9 was multiplied by 9. This was the most difficult task at the Olympiad, even the child prodigy's teacher could not calculate correctly, and this was where the confrontation should have ended. But to his great surprise, the hero was easily able to give the correct answer, for a person with a normal level of intelligence this is incredibly simple. The Olympiad winner could not believe his ears, how the person in front of him could calculate so quickly, was he really familiar with the semi-legendary multiplication table. Next it was Chen's turn to ask his question, but before that he decided to use a hat to reduce intelligence, now the smart guy will be even dumber. He came across an incredibly simple question, you just need to add 6 to 4, everyone around was sure that the genius would answer in a couple of seconds. However, the prodigy did not succeed at all, at some point, Jing Liang became so angry that he could not restrain himself and gave the school genius a kick in the ass. Now the old friends must fight for real, the previous rivalry had nothing to do with the bully. The hero happily agreed to compete again, for this the guy with blonde hair prepared his signature super puzzle. Now Chen must say what number will be obtained if you add up all the numbers from 1 to 100, in this variation of the world, it is unlikely that anyone will be able to calculate this even with the help of a calculator. The owner of the smart guy system thought for a few seconds, because of this doc got a little angry, he needs to quickly destroy the arrogant upstart. In truth, the hero did not think about the answer, he just felt funny at what ridiculous ace his former friend had hidden for him. After all, he already has the answer to his super question. If you add up all the numbers from 1 to 100, you get 5050, even the stupidest fool knows this. This could just happen, Jing Liang stood in a stupor for a few more seconds and could not even say a word, beads of sweat began to appear on his face from anger and confusion. After all, now it looks like the bully will have to kneel in front of Chen, but he would prefer to just knock on the head of the obsessive upstart. The bully decided not to fulfill his promise, but simply rush at the hero with his fists, suddenly a banana peel appeared under his foot which the owner of the smart guy's system bought in advance in a special store, everyone around him, without exception, could not believe their eyes. Right now, the toughest bully in their school was kneeling in front of some newcomer, the bully wanted more than anything to fall into the ground. But even this was not enough for the hero, suddenly he grabbed his former friend by the face and ordered him to remember his life lesson well. After which he turned around and left, this was just the beginning, Jing Liang should not think that all his atrocities will go unpunished. This whole situation was observed by a certain girl with light and hair, and besides, she tried to remain unnoticed and looked from around the corner. The beauty turned out to be one of the most popular college students, she admired the hero's talent and did not expect that their institution had such a genius. Since today was the first day of school, a celebration was organized for all the students, and the host turned out to be that same pretty girl. All the guys looked at her and dreamed of a date with her, but it is very difficult to achieve the favor of such a goddess. At the top of the social pyramid of the Lyceum there are four girls, they come from noble families, are very beautiful and smart, sometimes they are called the four celestials. The blonde's name was Lin Yu, she is one of the four, so it is better not to discuss her attractiveness so loudly, otherwise there may be problems. One of the students really wanted to ask his friend if there were other beauties in their college, as it turned out there really were others. Suddenly, Chen turned to two schoolchildren from the back row, he did not understand why classmates only assessed appearance, because the soul was most important. When the ceremony ended, the loudspeaker announced events in which representatives of various clubs were participating. All new students were asked to take part, but the hero did not want to stay for long, he would prefer to go home. In fact, he was too naive, Suddenly a very loud sound was heard in his ears, it was an announcement from a special system of a smart guy. Doka reported that his special points were running out, he only had one hour of real time left to live, and he urgently needed to earn points. Only a few minutes later it dawned on the guy that he forgot to take off the cap to reduce the intelligence of the school genius, the poor student still could not add 4 and 6. It was really too bad, since Chun didn't turn off the item every second of using it took away one point, these damn rules are written too confusingly. In the end, the hero freed the prodigy from the curse, finally his intelligence returned and he was able to find the correct answer, of course it is 10. This time the guy was very careless, but joyful sweet assistant told him that he could earn points by completing a special task. 
This mission turned out to be quite a high level of difficulty, you need to take part in club events and become the most popular student. The beauty with the years understood that this was quite difficult, but the carrier of the system would die soon anyway, so he had nothing to lose, and the hero was a little irritated by Doki's behavior. In fact, he needs to behave more respectfully towards her, she is not a secretary, the assistant needs to be addressed by name, as a result, Chen will activate the task. Among other things, the guy had one more problem, his guardian asked him not to stand out too much, so how could he become the most popular student without attracting too much attention? The answer was found quite quickly, the owner of the system noticed a guy behind him who is a member of the theater club. This young man accidentally dropped his mask on the floor, now the hero will be able to disguise himself and not be afraid of possible popularity. First of all, the guy went to the math club, there were already quite a lot of people in the room, and there were signs with assignments on the walls. To solve the simplest riddle it was necessary to count the number of squares on the board, it was intended specifically for graduates. After some time, the headman approached Chen and asked him not to be too upset if he failed to solve the riddle, after all, it was for older students. It's better for the hero to look at another board, where a cat and an eaten fish were drawn, even a first grader should be able to cope with such a task. Despite the recommendations of the headman, the owner of the system was interested in a completely different sign, this was a special task from the head of the club. Three rows with numbers, and instead of the last four values there were question marks, you need to say what number is hidden behind them. At the same time, the headman was sure that Chen had better take care of his nerves and not strain so much, to his great surprise, the guy already had an answer. The high school student simply could not allow the hero to take on such a complex task, first, it is necessary to answer simpler riddles. In response to this, the owner of the system calmly turned his head and said that in that picture with squares there are exactly 11 equilateral geometric figures. Everyone present was incredibly surprised, most of them were unable to cope with the cat and fish in half an hour. That was not all, the guy thought for a few seconds while standing in front of a sign with three rows of numbers, this puzzle was a little more complicated. But not so much that Chen could not solve it. All you need to do is multiply the number from the first two digits by the number from the third and fourth digits. The rest of the students froze in shock, no one had ever been able to solve this damn difficult problem before, who this guy even was. The amazed headman, with tears in his eyes, told the hero that now he had a chance to go to dinner with the head of their math club. And this, by the way, is an incredibly beautiful girl, one of the four celestials, literally all schoolchildren dream of meeting her. Suddenly, the owner of the system noticed that all the other club members began to envy him very much, so he makes a strong-willed decision and runs away. As a result, Doka told the guy that he was doing well, the task was completed by as much as 20%, but there was still a lot of work ahead. This whole situation surprised the participants of the mathematics club so much that for several hours they could not come to their senses as to how someone could refuse dinner with a celestial being. Next, events move to the 1500 meter race organized by the sports club, it should start soon, all students should get ready. There were a lot of people here, if Chen takes part in this competition, he will gain great popularity in any case, it is most likely better to look for something else. However, Doka told the guy that he had recently increased his level, so the system would allow him to play the Wheel of Fortune once. If the hero is lucky, he can get another 10,000 points and thus gain a lot of time, this offer could not be refused. As a prize, the owner of the system received a magic box, from which an ability called Motor Memory fell. Now the guy is lucky, according to the assistant, with the help of this skill a person cannot get tired for a long time when performing the same type of movements. If, for example, a teacher forced you to rewrite a book by hand, then such a thing is worth its weight in gold, but in Chen's case, you still need to figure out how best to use such a talent. This attitude again infuriated the beauty with the ears a little, who did the hero even think he was, he could at least say thank you out of politeness. In Doki's opinion, the new owner of the system is truly an ill-mannered fool, if he continues to behave like this in the future, he may not have hope for her kindness. Meanwhile, the best athlete of the Lyceum, whose name was Lei Kai, was already standing at the starting line, he has been running for many years. At some point, the athlete noticed the hero and laughed from his mask, why was he wearing such nonsense during the race, 
he didn't come to the theater. And when Chen ignored him, the athletes became completely angry, does anyone really have the audacity to ignore him, in a couple of laps he will show everyone what he is capable of. Soon the race began, Lei Kai and the owner of the system took the lead from the very beginning, the rest of the participants could hardly keep up with them. The athlete was very surprised when he saw how fast the hero ran from the very beginning, it was quite stupid, because they were not running a hundred meters, but a whole one and a half kilometers. The athlete was sure that the guy running in front of him would get tired in a few seconds, but Chen ran 500 meters without slowing down at all. The local sports star couldn't believe his eyes, had the guy in the mask really taken some kind of dope, the athlete simply couldn't lose today. Therefore, he makes a volitional decision and turns on his special mode, at which point his speed increased to the limit. However, such a technique exhausted Lei Kai very much, drops of sweat appeared on his face, and due to shortness of breath it became more and more difficult to run. Imagine his surprise when he noticed the book in the hero's hands, it turned out that Chen decided to read something useful during the race. Spectators watching the competition admired the owner of the system, they had never before seen a person who could read directly during the race. In the end, the mysterious guy in the mask came to the finish line first and broke the red ribbon, while not being distracted from reading an interesting book. And the local sports star still couldn't come to his senses, he was so exhausted that he didn't understand exactly when he lost to his opponent. Unfortunately, Lei Kai could not even reach the finish line, a few meters from the line he fell from exhaustion, the spectators rushed to call an ambulance for him. After winning a sports competition, the task was exactly half completed, the more people at the event, the faster the progress. Therefore, you need to think carefully about where there are a lot of people now, suddenly the guy notices a huge crowd of students near the tasks with cards. This year the Logic Club event attracted a lot of people, because they have the best prize, the winner will receive a ticket to the concert of pop diva Wang Fei. A pretty girl with white hair was standing next to the venue, she was reading the tasks and was surprised at how difficult they were. Basically, these were logical riddles like six-digit passwords for a safe, which are associated with the time on the clock. The hero picked up his form. These tests seemed so difficult to Lin Yu that she wondered if she would be able to solve them even in a few days. But the guy solved the puzzles very quickly, he masterfully picked up a pencil and began marking the correct options on his sheet. After some time, the girl paid attention to him and was surprised at how easy such complex tasks were in Chin Yu. Soon the owner of the system completed the puzzles and threw the paper like a real boss, in a few minutes he managed to complete all 50 tests. His incredible abilities were also noticed by the rest of the students, the guy managed to attract a lot of attention to himself, most likely the task will be completed right now. Just as the hero decided to ask his assistant about this, a man suddenly appeared behind him and grabbed him by the shoulder. It turned out to be a friend of the student whose mask Chen borrowed, right now the real owner of this thing must perform at a song competition. The stranger did not stand on ceremony and simply grabbed the hero by the jacket and dragged him to the right place, he spent too much time looking for him. When this happened, the owner of the system accidentally dropped the paper with his answers, and by chance it flew straight into Lin Yu's hands. Meanwhile, the hero tried with all his might to resist, but the mask owner's friend was very persistent, they were already very late. And the girl immediately picked up the paper with the answers, she wanted to make sure whether the guy was really able to solve all 50 logical questions. This actually turned out to be true, and the examiner confirmed the correctness of each test, Chen did it perfectly. Suddenly, the student congratulated Lin Yu on winning the prize, everyone around thought that the girl with white hair was the author of the work. The beauty tried to explain everything, but the inspector immediately grabbed her hand and declared her the winner, everyone around began to clap, and the girl felt very awkward. Now she really wanted to find the guy in the mask and give him the prize, most likely he went to a song contest, she needs to apologize to him. One of the participants was already performing at the event venue, it was a girl with short pink hair and a white mask on her face. Doka gave very bad news, since Chen did not have time to turn in his paper, the progress of the task has not changed in any way, it is still 50%. Therefore, the hero only has 5 minutes left, he clearly shouldn't waste them on the usual whining, the guy needs to act very decisively. Now it was his turn to go on stage, for a few seconds the guy thought about what song to choose in order to be guaranteed to amaze all the spectators. 
Suddenly he had a great idea in his head, since this variation of the world had never known about classical music, he should play a song from the past. To do this, the owner of the system picked up a guitar, such a performance should surprise everyone around him, at that moment he was invited to the stage. The beauty who performed before him did very well, most of the spectators believed that she would be today's winner. The main judge was a famous composer, and it also turned out to him that there was hardly a student who could sing a song better than the previous artist. But Chen simply had no choice now, he confidently walked onto the stage and announced that he would now perform a song from his own repertoire. The chief judge immediately had doubts about the guy, it seemed to him that today there would be no worthy competitors. Meanwhile, the hero had less and less time left, the remaining 242 seconds must be used to the maximum, Doka wished him good luck. After all, this is his last chance, soon the hero began to play the guitar, the song was about a snow white moon that is trying to caress you with its rays. Just at this time, Lin Yu came to the event, she was right and was able to find the guy in the mask, we need to give him the envelope as soon as possible. Suddenly the beauty heard the hero singing, his talent turned out to be so incredible that the girl decided to sit down from an overabundance of emotions. All the other students also appreciated Chen's singing, with such a gift it was necessary to immediately go to a recording studio and make a career. Even the famous composer was touched to the depths of his soul, he was very lucky to find himself at the school festival today. A few minutes later the owner's speech ended, he opened his eyes in the hope of seeing the amazed faces of the audience. However, instead, he heard complete silence, all the visitors silently looked at him, wondering if he had failed to complete the task after all. In a panic, Doc screamed that the guy was finished, since those around him did not react in any way, then the system perceives the progress of the mission as before at 50%. Fortunately, right at that moment the whole hall was filled with loud applause, everyone called the song a masterpiece and asked to perform it again. Now no one had any doubt that the hero won this event, and the system also informed him that the task had been completed. He barely made it, his assistant was no less worried, tears even appeared in her eyes, now the danger was finally over. Immediately after this, the composer ran up to Chen and asked to sell him the song, and also asked if the guy had any other similar masterpieces in his repertoire. At the same time, the hero himself did not particularly want to continue the conversation, he answered the man that he was not really a musician and that he was not interested. The chief judge was so upset that he announced a reward for the person who would catch the guy in the mask and bring him to him, the composer couldn't just let such a talented musician go. The prize for capturing Chen was tickets to the concert of pop diva Wang Fei, so a huge crowd immediately gave chase, and only Lin Yu remained near the stage. This time she again failed to return the prize to the real winner, but the girl was not upset at all, she would find the guy in the mask in any case. Thanks to his unique ability, the owner of the system managed to escape from his pursuers, he was lucky that no one saw his real face. Doka was even surprised that the guy was so lucky, but at the same time he shouldn't become arrogant, otherwise the beauty with the ears would stop helping him. The hero, in turn, promised to behave civilly, because first of all he needs to follow his goal, Jing Liang will definitely answer for his actions. By the way, the bully was kissing his new girlfriend at that time, they both heard about some smart guy who goes everywhere and beats everyone up. They were very angry about Chen's success, so Jing Liang came up with a plan according to which his former friend should not live to see the placement exam tomorrow. Soon evening came and the guy returned home to his sister and uncle, the man asked about the first day of school, whether the hero liked the lyceum. It was clear from the face of the owner of the system that he liked the educational institution, he met a couple of acquaintances there and he definitely wouldn't be bored. Immediately after dinner, the hero wanted to go to his room and do his homework, but his sister asked him to tell her a fairy tale first. The girl had a very sad expression on her face, but when Chen agreed to tell her a short story, she immediately began to rejoice like a little child. Although the guy tried to tell Yin's favorite fairy tale as soon as possible, several hours actually passed, and his little sister also put a hairpin on him, which is very difficult to remove. But now the owner of the system could finally call on her, he loudly spoke the name of his assistant and was instantly transported to another place. Since Doka said that when the system is activated, time in the real world stops, it's best to do your homework right here. Fortunately, books from the previous world remained in the system, 
and the guy managed to complete an additional task for playing sports and get 20,000 points. And in the end, the hero still managed to create an Ikebana, for which he was rewarded with the same number of points, if he continues in the same spirit, he will soon be able to achieve his goal. Unfortunately, you cannot sleep in this place, so after completing all the available tasks, Chen must be transported back and rest there. It was already very late, the guy took off his clothes and was about to go to bed, but before that he for some reason began to take off his underwear. Right at that moment, Doc suddenly flew to him, apparently she had some urgent news, but she picked the moment at a very inopportune time. After all, by this time the hero had already managed to lower his shorts halfway, for several seconds the assistant wondered why the guy was doing this. After which I became very shy and turned away in the other direction, it turns out the guy was just used to sleeping completely without clothes, what's wrong with that? Having come to her senses a little, the beauty with ears told the owner of the system that he had been given an unsatisfactory grade, and now he must receive punishment. The hero could not understand how this was possible, because he completed all the tasks, but in fact, general behavior is also important, Chen stole a mask from another person and did not help that runner when the unfortunate man lost consciousness. Now the hero must spin the wheel, which contains various punishments such as declaring his love to an unfamiliar girl. By chance, the guy was given exactly this option, on the way to school, he tried to come up with the easiest way to implement it. Noticing the sad expression on Chen's face, the sweet assistant asked him not to be upset, because he might have to undress in the main square of the city. By the way, if the owner of the system does not complete the penalty task, he will inevitably die, so the guy better not even think about it. When the school bus reached the next intersection, a truck was rushing straight towards it at full speed, just a little more and an accident would happen. The truck was driven by a scumbag, to whom Jing Liang promised a lot of money for killing his former friend. Literally a second before the collision, the criminal's car was overtaken by a black car, it appeared completely suddenly. Because of this, the truck crashed into her, the accident occurred in front of the school bus passengers, and the criminal quickly fled the scene. As a result, an elderly woman was injured, she lost consciousness, it looks like she needs help right at that moment, Chen saw this as an excellent opportunity. Since the system punished him for bad behavior, he could now earn additional loyalty points for helping his grandmother. The hero very loudly asked the bus driver to open the doors, because they needed to take care of the victims as soon as possible. Due to the collision of cars, a traffic jam formed, it stretched for several kilometers, and Lin Yu was sitting in one of the cars. The personal driver told the girl that there was an accident ahead, and some guy in her lyceum uniform was helping the victims. The beauty immediately recognized the hero as the same guy in the mask, from now on Lin Yu admired Chen even more, not everyone is able to rush to the rescue so quickly. Thanks to the actions of the owner of the system, the grandmother was very quickly taken to the hospital, now he has another great opportunity. The guy hesitated for a long time, but Doka recommended that he not hesitate, the hero must confess his love to the elderly woman right now and complete the penalty task. Chen finally overcame his anxiety and decided to take action, but the first thing he did was apologize to his grandmother, he just had to do something stupid. After that, the guy showered the woman with various compliments for quite a long time, how good it was that she didn't hear anything. Chen saw a similar monologue with a declaration of love in a romantic film, and finally he was able to fulfill his punishment. Suddenly the grandmother opened her eyes, it turned out that the victim was not actually sleeping, but was simply lying with her eyes closed. Even the assistant with ears did not expect such a turn of events, she, along with the owner of the system, screamed loudly in surprise. This situation turned out to be even more shameful than the underwear incident, they both wanted to escape from the hospital as soon as possible. While running away from an elderly woman's room, the guy accidentally dropped his student ID, this document is necessary to pass the exam. Which, by the way, started 15 minutes ago, all the students took their places, only Chen's desk was empty, he did not manage to arrive on time due to the accident. The late guy apologized to the young teacher and asked to be let in, but unfortunately, after the start of the exam, no one could enter the class. The hero even told the whole story about how he helped the injured grandmother, but even this did not help him correct the situation. Suddenly, the head teacher of the lyceum, whose name was Zhang Bin, approached the owner of the system, 
the man looked very angry and ordered Chen to immediately go to his office. For the hero, being in the head teacher's office was a completely new experience, the man wanted to hear the real reason for being late, he did not believe the story with his grandmother. And the guy, in turn, claimed that there really was an accident in front of the school bus today, in which there were victims. At first, Zhang Bin reacted calmly and even praised the student for showing kindness, such an act deserves the utmost respect. However, soon the man became very angry and with a loud cry ordered the hero not to take him for a fool, would anyone really believe such nonsense? Now the hero will in no way be able to score the required number of points, it is better for him to start looking for another school right now, such stupid behavior of the head teacher angered even Doku. At first, Chen wanted to tell reporters about the situation, but his assistant told him that after this school life would turn into hell, it was better to look at a special store. In fact, the owner of the system did not believe in the benefits of those three items, but the beauty with ears once again reminded him that his level had increased, had he really forgotten about it again? Now new items are available for purchase, but even so the guy didn't see much point in it, and prices in the store have doubled. In the end, the hero buys an ability called luck, in such a situation only a real miracle can help him. As soon as Chen returned to the real world, Zhang Bin's phone rang, it was an important person from the main ministry of education. The man immediately changed his rude tone to a gentle one and asked how he could help, Mr. Jiang wanted to know if there was a student named Chen in their lyceum. The first thing the head teacher thought was that the hooligan had done something very bad and now even the Ministry of Education wants to punish him. Therefore, the man immediately promised to expel the inconvenient student, such a student has no right to study in their noble and wonderful lyceum. Suddenly the voice on the phone sharply raised its tone, it turned out that the saved grandmother was the minister's mother, and the head teacher's wig even fell off from surprise and panic. Zhang Bin quickly apologized to the important person and promised not to exclude anyone, the hero was in vain indignant about the price of the item, it paid for itself completely. As soon as the man hung up, he immediately asked the guy to wait a little, there was no need to look for any other school. After all, the usual misunderstanding occurred, the head teacher politely pulled out a chair especially for the owner of the system, and in the near future he will be awarded a prize for heroism. The hero refused the reward, the best gift for him would be admission to the exam, because his future fate at school depends on it. There were only 15 minutes left until the end of the lesson, during which time Chen most likely will not have time to complete the assignment, Zhang Bin offers to arrange a retake for him the next day. In fact, the hero wanted to take such risks, because the system could consider such behavior unsatisfactory, the best way out would be to do the most difficult tasks and get as many points as possible. The head teacher did not appreciate such a desperate act, but what does this guy think of himself, the students of this academy are not random fools from the street. In the end, the man decides to help Chen, the hero must remain in the lyceum, because otherwise problems will arise with the ministry. After the end of the lesson, Zhang Bin approached the young teacher and asked to give him the form of the owner of the system, it turned out that it was not among the other papers. Since the guy scored the maximum number of points, the girl took his form to the director's office, they should take a closer look at such a genius. When the man heard this, his wig once again flew off his head in surprise, was this student really so talented? The director himself at that time was in his office and talking on the phone, he was convinced of the correctness of the hero's answers and made a conclusion. The fact that Chen is actually one of the survivors, most likely in this world there are other representatives of the former humanity who are distinguished by a high level of intelligence. His telephone conversation partner was the hero's guardian, the man definitely knows more than he might seem at first glance. And now we invite you to take a short lecture on the structure of the system from Doki, there are five ranks in total, from student to sage. Now Chen is at the second level of the student, in order to move to the next one, he must earn a million points, each time he increases the level, he can play the wheel of fortune. New items will also open in the store, among other things, with each new rank the system will give out a good prize, and the image of the cute assistant will change. Try to guess what a beauty with ears will look like in the future, in fact, it's better to just wait and see everything with your own eyes. The hero returned home late in the evening, when he went into his room he saw his little sister drawing something on his math notebook. This thing is not intended for drawing, 
So Chen snatched it from Yin's hands and asked him not to do it again, suddenly he was very surprised. Absolutely all the answers turned out to be correct, and these are, by the way, tasks for high school students, how the sick girl was able to solve them. In a panic, the guy grabbed his sister and tried to find out whether she herself solved such complex examples, in response to this, Yin nodded approvingly with a surprised face. In addition, the girl could easily count fairly large numbers, for example, now she said how much it would be if you add 489 to 597. It was very strange, the guy was sure that his little sister, even in a normal state, would not be able to answer questions so skillfully. Suddenly, an uncle came into their room, a man with a puzzling look asked the hero not to worry and not to test the girl's abilities. In fact, this makes no sense, since she, like her brother, are survivors from the past world, the owner of the system did not understand anything at first. Does his guardian really know about what happened? It really turned out to be true, the man also tried to calm Chen down, there is no need to be afraid of him. Among other things, my uncle had interesting information, everything around indicated that a certain villain was trying to destroy the entire previous civilization. The main proof of this theory was the behavior of the population, it was still able to enjoy all the benefits of civilization, people simply cannot understand the principle of their work. Degraded representatives of humanity in the scientific world are now called degenerates, and those who still have intelligence from the times of the previous civilization are usually called survivors. There is also a secret formation that hunts survivors with the goal of their complete destruction, there are organizations around the world dedicated to protecting survivors. However, recently they have also been attacked, Chen tried to think things through for a few more minutes, and Doka just now breathed a sigh of relief. If the man knew what they were doing, he would probably be angry, the beauty with the ears knew nothing about the criminals, her duties included only collecting knowledge. The main lesson that the guy should take from this situation was that from now on he needs to behave as inconspicuously as possible, for their own safety. The director of the Lyceum personally composed an assignment of increased difficulty for the exam, just to identify survivors, he is also one of the good people. After that, the uncle took Yin with him and left the guy's room, now Chen needs to do his homework, and the girls better go to their room and play. Now everything began to make sense, before the hero thought that only he was not degraded in the whole world, so it was not clear who continues to produce electronics. He and his assistant underestimated this world, who would have thought that the owner of the system would be hunted, the situation turned out to be simply terrible. The next day, on the way to school, Doka asked the hero what he planned to do next, most likely it would be better for them to lie low for a while. Today the results of the exam for distribution into groups appeared, so all the students quickly ran to the notice board. Since Chen missed the native speech exam, he ended up last on the list, with the last 50 students assigned to the 10th group. Some upstart suddenly appeared among the crowd, he called all the students from the 10th group stupid idiots who did not deserve to study with him. This behavior greatly infuriated the athlete, but the imposter did not consider his words offensive, because he was simply stating a fact. Lei Kai was already ready to beat up the arrogant upstart, but he was stopped at the very last moment by the hero, there is no need to solve matters with his fists, it's better to leave this matter to him, the hero can easily put the arrogant fool in his place, even without the use of brute force. This guy's name was Di Ba, he took 145th place and ended up in the 5th group, but his exam results were at a very mediocre level. To put the imposter in his place, the owner of the system came up with a puzzle for him, if he can solve it, Chen will immediately apologize. Di Ba was sure that the fool who took one of the last places would not be able to come up with something complicated, so he happily agreed. The hero wrote numbers on the board that meant the place, the overall score and the initials of the arrogant guy, he needs to say what word is encrypted here. The imposter was immediately surprised by how difficult the riddle turned out to be, to solve it you had to multiply and divide, and there was also a letter among the numbers. Using a special play on words, the solution to this rebus was a phrase that was used to describe a stupid person who is a nobody and pesters others. The riddle of the truly perfect described Diba, the stupid imposter was incredibly angry, he was about to explode with rage. As a result, the upstart ordered the guy to say his name, the hero calmly replied that his name was Chen and he was from the 10th group. Looking at the board with the exam results, Diba froze in shock, 
Could it be that one of the students managed to score the maximum score in mathematics? Also, all this time Lily and Jing were watching the situation, the girl was furious, because the guy promised her to get rid of the obsessive smart guy forever. After this, the bully realized that he could not trust any bandits, he would have to personally take on the elimination of his former friend. Lin Yu was also nearby and was watching what was happening, the newcomer had already humiliated various imposters in public several times. Suddenly the beauty remembered that envelope, where the answers from the fair still lay, she wanted to give this thing to the real owner. After checking the handwriting on the paper and on the board, the beauty came to the conclusion that they completely matched, could it be that the new student and the guy in the mask were one and the same person? The first lesson was in native speech, the teacher talked about the poem, which is one of the pinnacles of Russian literary thought. But in fact it was a children's rhyme about dogs, the hero sat at his desk and wondered how such nonsense could be considered a masterpiece. After a while, the bell rang for recess, all the students began to play with toys like little children, and the teacher hurried to his office. Suddenly, a classmate with headphones approached Chen and thanked him for protecting the honor of their group, and the hero, in turn, reacted rather coolly. Immediately after this, Doka appeared and asked the owner of the system to behave more friendly, because interpersonal relationships affect the overall assessment. The guy didn't want to confess his love to older women again, so he put a smile on his face and sweetly reciprocated his love for his classmate. The rest of the students were happy when they noticed changes in the hero, he had finally softened up, before that it was impossible to start a conversation with him. At some point, a new friend put a piece of paper on Chen's desk, it turned out that a vote was now being held for the most beautiful girl in the group. The students were sisters, the eldest was called Nona, and the younger was Nana, a beauty with red hair who had recently performed at a song competition. At first glance it might seem that they are very similar, but in fact this is not the case, the older one is very soft, reasonable and draws well, and the younger one sings and dances beautifully. One of his classmates called the mysterious masked artist a scoundrel, because because of him, the beautiful Nana took second place in a singing competition. Later it became clear that almost half of the class hated the mysterious smart guy with a mask on his face, because this man even refused to have dinner with the head of the math club. After some time, Lin Yu came to Chen's class, the beauty turned to him and asked him to spend a few minutes with her. The rest of the students were speechless as soon as they saw the celestial woman, and Doka began to feel a little jealous, there was clearly something wrong with this girl's breasts. When the hero walked out of the corridor with Lin Yu, the first thing he did was ask what the head of the student council could need from a simple guy. In response to this, the beauty asked the guy not to be modest, an ordinary person could not come up with such a witty rebus. The rest of the schoolchildren wanted to listen to their conversation, but they could not come closer, the guy with the headphones decided to use binoculars. The girl held out a card with his answers towards the hero, the handwriting on it completely coincided with the handwriting on the board, this cannot be a mere coincidence. Now it became clear that the beauty had guessed everything, but the guy still should not reveal his peculiarity, Doka recommends that he get rid of the obstinate girl as soon as possible. The assistant acted as if she had a feeling of jealousy, but in reality the blonde just wanted to give the prize to the real winner. Chen's classmates didn't hear anything, so they took this situation as a declaration of love, because Lin Yu wanted to give the guy an unusual envelope. The athlete couldn't believe it, he had been dreaming of a relationship with this beautiful girl for a very long time, had she really chosen someone else? The owner of the system decided that the best solution would be to refuse the prize, he claimed that the beauty simply mistook him for another person. The rest of the students could not believe their eyes, it seemed to them that the hero had rejected another celestial being, apparently he had no brain at all. Lei Kai, in turn, became even more angry, now his beloved had lost face because of an arrogant fool, he wanted to finish Chen off. The athlete immediately blocked his classmate's path and announced that he wanted to challenge him to a battle. At first, the hero did not want to agree to the competition. However, the system instantly responded to the proposal. A task appeared in it, by completing which you can get 50,000 points. To complete it, you need to accept Lei Kai's challenge and win, in the end, the guy decided that such an opportunity could not be refused. Soon the classmates moved to the sacred place of the Lyceum, which was called the competition hall, 
the results of the performance will be taken into account in the ratings. The loser must carry out the punishment from the winner, and it must not contradict the rules of the Lyceum. There are also two types of ratings. If you enter the top 100, you can count on a scholarship. To gain an advantage in advance, Lei Kai suggested fighting in sports, Doka warned Chen that he needed to try hard, because one of the best athletes in the school was competing against him. After thinking a little, the hero chose basketball. At first glance, this decision might seem too risky, because the athlete ranks 8th in the ranking of basketball players at their lyceum. But the owner of the system himself had the worst rating, he is an absolute beginner in sports competitions. Hearing this, Lei Kai laughed confidently, basketball is his favorite sport, in his opinion Chen has no chance of winning. Soon their duel began, victory is awarded to the one who scores 10 goals first, no matter from what distance they are scored. At the first toss of the ball, the athlete easily took the advantage, which is what the hero was hoping for when he decided to do something like this. Immediately after this, Lei Kai threw the ball directly into the basket, Chen apparently did not even know that in the Lyceum basketball team the athlete is called a sniper. Smiling arrogantly, the athlete asked the owner of the system if he regretted his choice, by the way, an interesting punishment had already been prepared for him. In order to somehow help the hero, Doc quickly made a plan, you can use a banana skin, but the guy asked not to worry so much. Now he can cope quite well without outside help, the choice of basketball was not accidental, because in fact the guy is very good at it. Suddenly, the hero easily took the ball and ran very quickly to the opposite end of the hall, Lei Kai could not even understand how this happened. Chen threw the sports equipment into the ring with the same ease as a famous athlete, he is able to defeat his opponent in a pure class. However, the athlete did not agree with this, he believed that the hero was just lucky once, his classmate would never be able to repeat such a trick again. The assistant with the ears was very angry because of the behavior of the owner of the system, why take so much risk, there are so many ways to make your life easier. And the guy, in turn, asked to leave him alone and let him play his favorite game normally, in the end Doka got angry with him, let him now do what he wants. The match between two skilled players turned out to be very entertaining, the advantage constantly passed from one to the other, after some time Chen was only a few points away from victory. The rivalry continued for quite a long time, both students were already very tired, and sweat began to appear on their faces. At the very end, the score was equal, the players had 9 points each, and in the last play the hero managed to take the advantage. This ball could have been decisive, now Lei Kai must stop him at any cost, at some point it might seem that he succeeded. The athlete was able to hook the sports instrument with his fingertips and it changed its trajectory, now Chen will not receive a point to his account. But in fact, he was happy too early, the owner of the system bought a special measuring tape and changed the trajectory of the ball. After which he perfectly entered the basket, now the initial trajectory did not matter at all, this is the power of the smart guy's special system. Lei Kai could not believe his eyes, what he saw turned out to be some kind of magic, and all the other students congratulated the hero on his victory. Now the popular athlete will drop to last place in the rankings, because those are the rules, and Doc is amused by the fact that Chen still used an item from the store. It's just that at some point the guy realized that a lot of points were at stake, in the end he thanked Lei Kai for the excellent game and called him a talented athlete. At first the athlete reacted quite sentimentally, because he had just lost, but he was still treated with great respect. However, Lei Kai soon came to his senses and asked the hero to tell him about the punishment, the athlete wanted to finish everything as soon as possible. Chen decided not to invent some humiliating task, instead, he calmly asked his classmate to tell him why they needed to organize a competition in the first place. The athlete did not want to talk in front of strangers, as a result the students went outside, it turned out that Lei Kai had always been a difficult teenager and often behaved like a hooligan. And one day, during another fight, he met Lin Yu, and then he got a lot of trouble from a bandit who was much older. The beauty stood up for the unknown guy, she threatened the villain with a call to the police, the villain must immediately get away. Therefore, Lei Kai always perceived Lin Yu as the smartest, bravest and sweetest girl in the whole world, she even helped him heal his wounds. Now everything was clear to Chen, the beauty saved the athlete and since then he has been caring for her, but in reality everything was a little different. 
it turned out that the athlete was not the weakling who was beaten, he was exactly the hooligan whom the pretty girl threatened to call the police. Lei Kai constantly humiliated other people and no one cared about this, only the celestial being had the courage to stand up for another person. That is why the athlete would never allow anyone to offend her, but now the hero became interested in how he managed to offend Lin Yu. Suddenly the athlete got angry and grabbed his classmate by the shoulder, he still believed that the beauty had confessed her love to the hero and was refused in return. These untrue rumors had already spread throughout the school, even the deputy student council decided to ask Lin Yu about it. The head of the student council was even a little confused by the angry expression on her assistant's face, which could have angered her so much. The girl's name was Xia Bing Den, she heard that her friend confessed her love to some newcomer, and he dared to refuse, now everyone is talking about it. Lin Yu immediately began to make excuses and told how things really were, she just wanted to give the ticket to the real winner. Eventually, the deputy head of the Disciple Council decides to go and investigate the rumors of Lin Yu's broken heart on his own. It turned out that she is the head of the math club, it was with her that the hero refused to have dinner, so Xia Bingden also wanted to find the mysterious guy in the mask. In a short period of time, Chen managed to become the most popular student at the Lyceum, despite the fact that he tried his best to behave inconspicuously. The beauty from the school council quickly found something to complain about, she asked the hero why his appearance did not meet school standards. The shirt should always be tucked into the trousers, Xia Bingden will give him a punishment, now the guy needs to stand up with the others. The owner of the system immediately realized that the girl was prejudiced against him for a reason, he tried to find out the details, but the student quickly closed her notebook. Meanwhile, half of Chen's class was waiting for punishment, they all broke some rule, for example, Nana painted her nails during recess, and her sister Nona simply came as support. It was obvious that Xia Bingdeng was simply picking on the 10th group students, in fact, the students were punished for spreading rumors about Lin Yu. The girl also mentioned the rule that you cannot draw a circle using a compass, the hero decided to take the chance and offered the beauty a bet. If Chen can draw a perfectly straight line using a regular compass, then the student from the council will drop all charges against them and let them go. At first, the beauty did not want to agree, but at some point she began to wonder if it was really possible to pull off such a trick. In the end, Xia Bingden agrees, but she has several conditions, the compass must be the most ordinary one and it is also not allowed to draw a line with the writing tip on the ruler. When the hero can draw a perfect line following all the rules, the student from the council will let them go and will also ignore their violations in the future. The athlete immediately began to encourage his friend, he had complete confidence in him, but the hero himself asked to remove his hand, otherwise it would be pierced with a compass. The beauty also forgot to mention that if she fails, she will tell the director about the false rumors they are spreading about Lin Yu. Lei Kai suddenly changed his mind, he didn't want to take such a big risk but Chen remained absolutely calm and carefully rolled the piece of paper into a tube. If the sheet lies flat on the table, then it will be impossible to draw a straight line on it using a compass, but if you twist it a little, and trying to draw a circle from the inside is a completely different matter, but now let's see what we got as a result. It was a perfectly straight line, the guy threw a piece of paper on the table like a real professional, and he again emerged victorious from this argument. Xia Bingden could not believe her defeat, Nana, in turn, admired Chen's skill, and her sister carefully wrote down all the subtleties of the trick. The guy also recommended that the beauty from the school council stop following all the rules so carefully, because then life becomes too boring. As a result, the hero and his classmates emerged victorious from the situation, and Doka was a little offended, because every time all the glory goes exclusively to the owner of the system. As soon as the schoolchildren approached the entrance, the head teacher began to shout at them sharply, the man, as usual, roared like an animal and asked what was going on here. The students immediately accused Xia Bingdeng of exceeding her official authority, she found fault exclusively with the members of the 10th group. To prove this, the hero used the probability formula, according to which the chance of selecting six students from the entire lyceum at random is simply impossible. When Zhang Bin saw Chen, he immediately remembered how the Minister of Education spoke about him, now the man needs to find a way out of the situation. As a result, the head teacher decided to blame the beauty from the student council, 
now she will have to write an explanatory note. And with the hero, the man behaved like an obedient dog, the guy's classmates now considered him a real hero, as if he could get out of any trouble. This turn of events broke absolutely all the girl's patterns, she tried to understand who Chen was and for what reason the head teacher himself was covering for him. Suddenly Jing Liang turned to her, the guy hinted to Xia Bing Den about a very gross violation on the part of the hero, according to his words, a former friend ended up in their lyceum illegally. The beauty asked who he was, and the bully tried to create the image of a natural ally, together they could properly teach the smart guy a lesson. After some time, evening came and the hero returned to his home, he was not satisfied with the level of the system, why he did not grow beyond the second. The assistant explained as usual that until he began to spread knowledge, his progress would grow very slowly, and since the guy has more or less started to get used to the system, it's time for a secret tab, he can attract other people who will help spread knowledge. These so-called missionaries should be well versed in their field and loyal to Chen, but so far the hero had no idea where to find such allies. Suddenly the system issued a notification about the assessment for the past day, the guy was optimistic, but his assistant recommended not to be so happy. It turned out that the beauty with the ears was right, today the owner of the system spoiled a sheet of paper with a list of the Lyceum rules and now must receive another punishment. Now he will have to change into women's clothes and go to a lingerie store, these penalty tasks were invented by some pervert. For some time, Chen thought about where he could find women's clothes, suddenly his little sister came into his room, the question was resolved by itself. Doka hinted to the guy that there were a lot of cute girly clothes right under his nose, the guy still couldn't come to his senses as to whether this was really happening to him. It was very difficult for the assistant to hold back her laughter at the sight of such a beauty, who would have thought that the hero would turn out to be such a pretty girl. Chen wanted to get to the nearest lingerie store as quickly as possible and complete a stupid task, fortunately there was one near his house. Suddenly the owner of the system noticed his classmates, the guys had just bought a new part of a popular film and were discussing previous episodes. Because of this, the hero had to hide in a cafe, why is he always so unlucky, if his friends notice him in this form, he will not wash away the shame for the rest of his life. And as if this were not enough, the guys decided to watch the film right in the nearest establishment, which just happens to have a TV and a player. As a result, the classmates ended up in the same cafe where Chen was hiding, he asked his assistant for invisible water from the store, but while carrying out punishments, purchasing items is not available. After some time, the guys noticed a sad girl sitting next to them, they wondered why the beauty was so upset. Lei Kai asked one of his friends how he realized how beautiful this stranger was, they didn't even see her face, but in fact, everything was clear from her figure. Among other things, the athlete thought that he had already seen the beauty before, in the end they decide to buy her tea with bergamot. Doka immediately told Chen the good news, it looks like his classmates will come to meet him very soon, he should be happy. The hero had only one chance to escape from this cafe, when the employee asked the guys to come over for drinks, he very quickly ran out into the street. Now he wanted to buy lingerie as soon as possible and finally complete a stupid task, the situation was complicated by his sister's sneakers, which were several sizes smaller than necessary. Entering the store, the guy was very shy, he needed to buy the first underwear he came across and go to the checkout, but suddenly the consultant noticed him. The woman decided to help the pretty girl and suggested that most likely this bra would be too big for her, it was better to pay attention to the light blue set. In the end, Chen had to go to the fitting room and pretend to be a real client, the salespeople in this store are too persistent. By coincidence, Lin Yu ended up here, she also decided to buy herself new underwear, apparently she had some difficulties. It turned out that the lock on her bra was jammed, so she asked an unknown girl for help, perhaps the hook was bent there. Doka could not look at this disgrace for a long time and quickly closed the eyes of the owner of the system, fortunately, the hero completed the task even faster. As soon as Lin Yu turned to the stranger to thank her for her help, she saw that the strange girl instantly disappeared somewhere. In fact, this guy was in the next booth in disguise, he couldn't understand why the Lyceum students had nowhere else to spend their free time. A few minutes later, Chen went to the cashier, he tried his best to imitate a woman's voice and asked for a receipt, which required him to sign. As soon as the hero picked up a special pencil, 
Lin Yu turned to him and asked if they had met somewhere before. In a panic, Chen quickly ran to the exit, he didn't even notice how he took someone else's package instead of his, the saleswoman told him about it, but the guy didn't hear her. He had never run so fast in his life, he finally succeeded, and his assistant asked him not to whine, it wasn't that difficult. Only after that the hero opened the pink bag and saw that it was not his purchase at all, he accidentally took Lin Yu's bra from the store. By the way, the owner of this underwear was also here, she was not angry at all and offered to exchange packages, and besides, the girl immediately recognized Chen. The hero made one last attempt and again portrayed a female voice, unfortunately, his acting skills were at a rather low level. Therefore, the head of the student council asked him not to pretend, since he had just written his real name on the check. In the end, the guy had to admit that it really was him and he had very serious reasons for going to the lingerie store. The girl was not going to tell anyone about this, no one would know about his strange preferences, but the beauty also asks for one favor. The assistant immediately thought that Lin Yu was going to threaten them, the hero also did not rule out this option and tensed a little. In fact, everything turned out to be much simpler, the girl asked Chen for help, she really wants to do her homework with him. The beauty was able to personally verify his mathematical skills, she is good at the humanities, but when it comes to numbers, everything becomes bad. The owner of the system saw this as an excellent opportunity, he agreed to help Lin Yu, but in return she must also fulfill his request. To begin disseminating knowledge on a large scale, the hero wants to get on the radio station of the Lyceum, if the girl helps him with this, he will help her improve her studies. Thanks to Lin Yu's recommendation, the guy was able to join the school radio station, but only as an errand boy, Doka recommended that he quickly bring the tea before it got cold. Nana was also present here, soon she would have to read aloud the speech that the head of the student council gave at the beginning of the school year. It was clear from the girl's face that she was very worried, so the hero decided to support her and said that she had a very beautiful voice. Thanks to the pleasant words, the beauty calmed down a little, but suddenly DBA approached them and said that only he would decide how well Nana suited them. As soon as the students saw each other, they immediately remembered that incident with the rebus, the upstart remembered that humiliation perfectly, no one would dare to call him an idiot who is a nobody. Moreover, now Diba was on his territory, because since elementary school he had constantly worked on the radio, even received a state diploma in the category of young radio presenter. The arrogant student advised Chen not to be arrogant, because they don't hire him on the radio for his good looks, but in fact this was already clear, just look at the upstart's face. When Nana heard how funny the hero had caught Di Ba, she laughed quietly, the imposter immediately heard this and ordered him to shut up. After that, the two of them went to the studio, due to the unpleasant situation, the girl could not feel confident and constantly stammered. The upstart immediately found a minor mistake in her speech and said that she was completely unsuitable for them, Nana had better go to her class right now. All this time, the hero stood nearby, he did not agree with D. Ba's verdict, you shouldn't take it out on an innocent girl because of anger at another person. To prove to the arrogant student the insignificance of the mistake that the beauty made, the guy decided to call directly the author of this speech. Chen calmly took out his phone and dialed Lin Yu's number, the others couldn't believe their ears, does the hero really have the number of the head of the student council, he also treats her like a friend. And the girl, in turn, is not at all against minor changes being made to her text, she likes Nana's version a little better. Even so, Diba didn't want to give up, they couldn't let Nana give a speech anyway since she kept stuttering. Suddenly, the editor-in-chief of the radio station approached them, her name was Wang Yenqian, she is one of the four celestials. The girl hinted to Chen that he was new here and ended up in this place only thanks to Lin Yu's recommendation, he should not act so self-confidently. And if he continues to try to be clever at the expense of another person's reputation, he will be fired instantly, the celestial woman also had questions for Nana. After all, she really has a speech rate that is too slow, the minimum requirement is four syllables per second, Wang Yenqian politely refused her. However, the hero did not want to just give up, after all, the main task of the presenter is to be able to interest the listeners, it is too unfair to reject candidates just because of the pace of speech. This really made sense, the celestial woman agreed with the guy, but nevertheless, a person must be able to speak smoothly and fluently. 
The girl also claimed that she could speak three times faster than the candidate, Chen saw this as an opportunity and decided to make a bet. Now he will write two sentences, if Wang Yanxian can read them out loud in ten seconds, then he will leave with Nana, and if the celestial goddess does not succeed, then they will take her with them. The girl was confident in her abilities and immediately agreed, she has been working on her diction throughout her life, she can deliver any speech. The student, with tears in her eyes, asked the hero not to take such risks, she didn't want another person to have problems because of her. And the guy, in turn, assured that everything would be fine, he just crammed a couple of abstruse words into the tongue twister, it's unlikely that even the best representatives of the new world will be able to pronounce these lines in 10 seconds. It really worked, despite the excellent abilities of the celestial being, at first she couldn't do anything at all. And after 10 minutes, Wang Yanxian gave up, the proposal turned out to be too confusing, the beauty congratulated the candidate, now she is officially one of them. Nana was overjoyed and thanked Chen, but he did not see anything special in this, after all, they study together and should help each other. Doka understood the true motives of the owner of the system, the guy clearly wants to use his classmate as a missionary who specializes in art. It was only late at night that Wang Yanxian was finally able to pronounce the difficult tongue twister, despite a lot of wasted time, she was happy. The next day, Nana brought the hero lunch prepared with her own hands, the food looked very appetizing and varied. The girl really wanted to somehow thank her classmate for his help, she hopes that his girlfriend won't think anything wrong. But in fact, the hero was not in a relationship at the moment, when the beauty found out, she was very happy, she definitely had a chance. But Doc was very angry with her behavior, apparently the assistant with the ears really doesn't like it when other beauties appear around the owner of the system. After some time, Chen and his girlfriend came to the studio, for some reason there were already a lot of people there, it turned out that today they had a guest of honor. It was Lily, Wang Yanxian looked at her in surprise, because for some reason the model was putting on makeup, this was a radio broadcast and no one would see them. The hero immediately tried to find out why his ex-girlfriend came here, but he was restored by Di Ba, they are now having an interview with an important guest and outsiders are not allowed. The traitor was very upset when she saw her ex-boyfriend, if he told everyone about the betrayal, then her image would be destroyed. In the end, Lily decided to strike first, she artistically fell to her knees and accused the guy of cheating on her best friend. Everyone around was shocked by the words of the invited model, and the hero could not believe that his ex-girlfriend was such a terrible person. This behavior completely drove Chen crazy, he ordered his ex-girlfriend to stop the stupid performance, she has no right to raise the topic of infidelity and betrayal. Despite this, the traitor continued to play the role of the unfortunate girl, she began to cry and claimed that she was simply taken advantage of. Lily's acting skills were at a good level, at some point she even needed napkins, quite a lot of people around her believed in her lies. The level of admiration for Chen fell with every second, and various insults like a scoundrel and a freak began to be thrown at him. Nana could not stand such an unfair attitude and tried to convince the crowd, her classmate is the nicest person in the world. Unfortunately, the beauty only made it worse, because she mentioned the incident when Lin Yu confessed her love to him, now those around him simply hated the guy. At the same time, the actress did not even think about stopping her performance, she decided to take advantage of the moment and added that the hero lulled her vigilance and then seduced her like an innocent girl. Di Ba turned to the editor-in-chief and suggested immediately expelling the hero, otherwise he would drag the reputation of their radio station to the bottom, there was no point in taking such risks. In response to this, Wang Yanxian did not say anything and calmly stood up from her chair, everyone around was sure that the guy would now be fired. But instead, the celestial woman asked the invited model to leave, at first, Lily didn't even believe it, how could she be kicked out of here? The fact is that Wang Yanxian doesn't care what the relationship is between her and the hero, but the celestial being perfectly sees bad acting, and the traitor clearly made up her story. Hearing these words, Lily got angry and jumped to her feet, she asked the editor-in-chief how someone dared accuse her of lying, but in fact it was obvious. After all, Wang Yanxian has a mother who works as a professional actress, not a single director will take Lily even for the role of the 18th plan. After all the masks were removed, the invited model simply took her bag and left, 
in the end she promised that she would never come to their stupid radio in her life. Now the radio station workers had a problem, the model was supposed to be today's guest, where should they now look for a famous personality? In addition, today's program was supposed to be the most important this year, their studio could reach another level thanks to Lily's popularity. The program was left without a guest also due to Chen's fault, he should not leave Wang Yenqian alone in the face of the problem that arose. Meanwhile, the celestial woman went to her office to think a little, she could call her dad, but this is quite difficult, because her parents are divorced. At that moment, the hero knocked on her office, she allowed him to enter and asked him not to thank him for that incident, because the editor-in-chief simply does not like lies. The guy came not only to express gratitude, he remembered the famous composer who recently came to the song festival. They might be able to invite him as a guest, but Wang Yenqian was sure that such a person was busy right now anyway. This really turned out to be true, the man did not leave his workplace for a minute, the hero was very lucky to reach him on time. As soon as the composer picked up the phone and recognized the voice of that same talented singer, he was as happy as a child, and Chen offered him his song. The man's name was Mr. Li, in fact, he dreamed about this call every day, of course he really wants to get that very song. At some point, a mysterious girl came into his office, the composer told her about a talented guy who would give his song in exchange for an interview for a radio station. Meanwhile, at the studio, everyone was eagerly awaiting an answer from Mr. Li. Wang Yenqian doubted until the last moment that he would really come to them. A few seconds later, the man sent a message with a disappointing context, unfortunately, he won't be able to come today, but he sent another person. This situation seemed like a complete failure, the celestial woman thanked Chen for his attempt, and Di Ba did not miss the moment to mock the offender. Nana stood up for the hero, she suggested that the upstart find a popular guest on his own, or he could only throw around bad words. Soon a young and tall girl in an unusual dress came to the studio, it was she who was asked to come here by Mr. Li, at first no one recognized the stranger. But when the beauty took off her sunglasses, everyone around could not believe their eyes, it was the incredibly popular singer Wang Fei. Di Ba almost fainted from surprise, the rest of the radio station workers were so scared that they even called an ambulance for him. After this, the famous singer approached Chen and they shook hands, those around them could not understand why Wang Fei herself came here for the sake of the student. The celestial goddess sharply ordered that all doors be locked from the outside and that no one should be allowed into the studio, and that workers should also turn off their mobile phones. The entrance to the radio station was locked very securely with two locks and chains, because if the rest of the schoolchildren found out about such a guest, complete chaos would begin. First of all, Wang Yenqian asked the popular singer for forgiveness for the fuss, but in fact this was unnecessary, because Wang Fei was already used to this. The hero and his friend watched everything from the side, the guest behaved very modestly for a star of such a scale, Nana really wanted to get her autograph. Wang Fei's time was very valuable, so the editor-in-chief decided to start as soon as possible, but before that, she wanted to know why the singer agreed to come here. The star almost let slip about the wonderful song that was promised to her, but fortunately the girl remembered the trade secret in time. The interview lasted about half an hour, it turned out to be very interesting and attracted many listeners, after which the guy decided to conduct Wang Fei. The popular actress fulfilled her part of the agreement, now the hero must give her a song, his only condition was complete anonymity, there is no need to indicate his name anywhere. When everything was settled, Chen was about to leave, but the girl suddenly grabbed his hand and asked him to wait a little. Wang Fei liked the composition so much that she asked the guy to write another one especially for her, the singer was ready to do anything. Because of the behavior of the beautiful girl, the hero was a little embarrassed and refused the offer, but Doka recommended that he think again, because Wang Fei could become an excellent missionary. The only problem was that Chen did not have any more songs in his repertoire, the assistant knew how to fix this because there is a special bookstore in the system. If a guy spends some points, he can open it and buy a collection of the best songs there, so all the best songs of the past world will become available to him. In addition, the price is very attractive, only 35,000 points. When Chen heard this figure, he froze in shock, could the assistant really call this mere pennies? In the end, the guy spent the points and told the singer that he had one more song, 
at that moment Wang Fei's eyes lit up like a predator, she wanted to get all the songs authored by Chen. This behavior of the girl even scared the hero a little, but in the end their deal was successful, the guy handed the singer papers with words and music. As soon as Wang Fei picked up the lyrics of the song, she immediately began to hum it, and tears even appeared in her eyes from amazement. The girl was called a goddess for a reason, she instantly began to sing the composition the way the real author originally intended it. The beautiful song reminded Wang Fei of her youth and first love, singing such a song and dying was not scary. All this time Nana was watching them, the girl realized who the mysterious guy in the mask was, now she admired the hero even more. Soon evening came and the guy went to his home, today he had a real holiday, because the system gave him a satisfactory rating. After some time, Chen decided to help Lin Yu with mathematics, but it turned out to be much more difficult than it might seem at first glance. After this event, we are taken to the house of two sisters, Nona asked Nana about her strange behavior, why she thinks about Chen so often. After all, the girl constantly prepares food for him and is on duty instead of the hero, did she really like the guy that much? Nana immediately began to deny everything, according to her, Chen is simply a genius in writing music, so nothing should distract him from his creativity. He is able to express his love with every sentence in his compositions, his sister's behavior surprised Nona more and more. In the end, the girl with blue hair advises her relative to be careful, because if she falls in love with the hero, she will suffer. Meanwhile, Lily was recording her track at the production center, her producer named Van praised the model for her excellent work. The trader was completely pleased with herself, but suddenly she heard a conversation from other producers, they were talking about the success of Wang Fei and her new beautiful songs. Two compositions by a famous singer are fighting each other for first place in the charts, this situation has caused Lily a huge feeling of envy. After this event, we are taken to school, now there was a break and the students were discussing voting for the title of the new celestial. Nana managed to confidently take second place in the ranking, and her classmates tried to come up with a way to raise her to first, although the girl herself was a little embarrassed. To somehow cheer up the girl, Chen asked her to believe in victory, if she did this, they would help her pull the votes in the right direction. At first, Nana was a little doubtful, but in the end she accepted help, because of this situation, Nona began to worry about her little sister even more. Suddenly Lily came into their class, everyone around began to admire the beautiful figure of the model, she looked very confident. The girl sat down next to the hero and wanted to start a conversation with him, but Chen did not want to talk about anything with the traitor, they have no common interests. It turned out that Lily somehow found out who the wise guy in the mask really is, if the guy is stubborn, then she will tell everyone around about it. Soon they both went out into the corridor, and Chen's classmates again decided to follow him, the students were very jealous of the owner of the system. As soon as the ex-boyfriend and girlfriend were alone, the model began to beg the hero to write a song for her, because he has real talent, but in response the traitor received a sharp refusal. Despite this, she continued to stand her ground and talked about their incredible love, Lily also admitted her mistake, but no one is perfect, in the end Chen invited her to the radio station. Hearing this answer, Doc got really angry, does the guy really not respect himself at all, in fact, the assistant made hasty conclusions, soon she will be able to see everything with her own eyes. A few hours later, lunch came, at this time there was no one in the studio and no one would disturb the two lovers, Chen leaned his ex-girlfriend against the wall. After which he took out a small sheet of paper from his pocket, According to him this is a new song that he wrote quite recently. As soon as the model heard this, she immediately tried to snatch the text of the composition from the hands of her ex-boyfriend, but she couldn't get it that easily, the hero has one condition. Since Lily admitted her mistake, now she will have to atone for her guilt, with all his appearance the guy hinted at various obscenities. His assistant couldn't believe her eyes, had Chen really gone crazy, it was the middle of the day outside, and what if someone decided to come to the radio station? The ex-girlfriend also did not expect such sudden steps from the hero, he was so persistent that her temperature even rose and goosebumps ran all over her body. The model sat on the guy's lap without any complaints, now he seemed to her much more courageous than before, she even wanted to take back the words about the boring nerd. If the girl really wants to get a wonderful song, then right now she needs to list all the bad qualities of Jing Lian, 
if the hero is satisfied, then the deal will go through. Lily was ready to do anything for the sake of popularity, so she immediately agreed, as soon as this happened, Chen turned to his assistant and asked her to activate luck from a special store. After this, the guy turned on the loudspeaker through which the news was announced to the entire Lyceum, because of this, his ex-girlfriend was heard by all students without exception. Meanwhile, she herself got the taste and told absolutely all the details of her relationship with Jing Liang, according to her, he is nothing of himself, and popular only because of his rich parents, Wang Yenxian and her assistant at that moment wondered how someone managed to turn on the broadcast to the entire Lyceum, because today is technical day. Soon Lily finished her monologue and asked her ex-boyfriend if he had enjoyed it, and Chen, in turn, admitted that now the entire Lyceum could hear her. Only now the model finally realized that she was simply being used, Doka at that moment applauded the resourcefulness of the system user. Having come to her senses a little, the traitor abruptly jumped up from her chair and threatened the hero, now she will definitely take revenge on him for such humiliation. Suddenly the guy came close to her and put his hand on her head, in fact, it's still too early for Lily to talk about revenge, because she herself still hasn't redeemed herself. Now the hero needed to leave the studio as soon as possible, it would be better if no one knew the details, but as soon as he approached the exit, his former friend blocked his way, in fact, at that moment he wanted to teach Lily a lesson, so he did not pay attention to Chen. In order not to disturb the two lovers, the owner of the system and his assistant hid in the next office, but do not think that the guy is afraid of Jing Liang. In fact, the hero simply doesn't want the two traitors to be distracted by anything, he can't wait to watch the loud conflict. The room in which Chen had actually turned out to be a drawing class, Nona was practicing here, this is her favorite pastime. The girl with blue hair behaved so quietly and inconspicuously that even Doc did not notice her presence, it was not clear when she ended up here. Suddenly, very loud screams were heard from the next room, it seemed as if several elephants were running behind the wall. Lily lay on the floor and tried to understand how her new boyfriend dared to use brute force, but Jing Liang himself did not see anything strange in this. After all, in his opinion, the model fully deserved such an attitude, their fight lasted for some time, they exchanged mutual insults. In order not to distract the artist, the hero asked not to pay attention to the fight behind the wall and wanted to leave, but the girl asked him to wait a little. She wanted to talk about the situation with her sister Nana and the fight for the title of Celestial Goddess, is the hero really doing this just for the sake of revenge on his ex-girlfriend? In this case, the guy needs to leave the girl with pink hair alone, she is the most beautiful and talented without his help. Chen didn't want to argue with anyone right now, especially since he didn't have any bad intentions, so he simply asked the artist for some paint. To improve the picture, it is worth using white color, with its help you can reveal the potential of other shades, this is called the basalt effect. As a result, the guy turned out to be an incredibly beautiful picture, his talent made a great impression on Nona, at some point her heart began to beat faster. At the same time, she really didn't want to acknowledge the guy's skills, but in any case, his work of art was simply incredibly beautiful. It turns out that he understands a lot about fine art, the guy is really a real genius, but as soon as the artist turned around, the owner of the system disappeared somewhere. This day was a day off, the hero decided to arrange a concert with Nona, the girl was a little shy, but he was very sure that with her vocal abilities and his song no one would remain indifferent. Doka, in turn, could not understand why the owner of the system so easily lent his work to a classmate, in fact, he just wanted to help her win the competition. Soon the performance began, the singer announced her name and announced her desire to sing a new song, she hopes that the listener will like the composition. Every minute more and more people appeared near the stage, the girl's voice turned out to be really very beautiful, and the soulful lyrics of the song complemented the overall picture. This bore fruit, the system reported an increase in level, after purchasing the collection of songs, Chen had almost no points left, but his progress accelerated greatly. It turned out that Wang Fei brought most of the experience, the assistant with the ears wanted to reveal her new image so much that she wanted to give new songs only to the popular singer. But they must first of all act for the good of humanity, and Doka always thinks about his appearance, Meanwhile, the broadcast of the concert gained a lot of viewers. With an incredible feeling of anger, Lily watched what was happening, this should have been her song, 
her ex-boyfriend would definitely regret this. The next day, the head of the student council approached Chen for help in mathematics, Doka was surprised at how stupid this girl was, because she had to explain the same example several times. But the hero treated Lin Yu very warmly, this bore fruit, the student scored a good score on the last math test. The guy also wondered why his assistant disliked the head of the student council so much, was it really because of the difference in their figures, the beauty with the ears, in turn, denied everything. Immediately after this, his friends approached him, they all wanted to taste the cookies that the celestial woman had prepared with her own hands. Of course, Lei Kai was the most active, he was ready to give half his life for a dish prepared by his mistress, at that moment Chen's phone rang. Therefore, he simply threw a bag of sweets towards his classmates, while the athlete managed to tear his school uniform. Because of this, the hero had to go to the restroom and bring himself back to normal a little, a picture came to his mobile phone from an unknown number. It turned out that some scoundrel took a photo of Nana in torn clothes and unconscious, if the guy does not come within five minutes, there will be serious consequences. Judging by the photo, the girl was in the gym's storage room, Doka assumed that it might be a trap, but now it seemed they had no other choice. This was all definitely Lily's doing, the hero is not completely stupid, but his ex-girlfriend is clearly not smart enough to come up with a cunning plan. Chen ran to the right place as quickly as he could and kicked the door down, but only his classmate was inside, and Lily was not here. As soon as the guy walked a few steps, the door behind him slammed shut, apparently this was the plan of the evil traitor. The ex-girlfriend hung up the lock, now the hero will in no way be able to leave the closet, and now the arrogant model will tell the head teacher about this. Among other things, Lily slipped one interesting medicine into Nana's food, but Chen will soon understand everything himself, let him enjoy it while he has the opportunity. After some time, the singer came to her senses, she was very hot and drops of sweat appeared all over her body, she did not look entirely healthy. Now it became clear that right now the classmate was under the influence of some kind of aphrodisiac, and besides, her appearance looked very obscene. Because of this, the owner of the system was very embarrassed, he asked his assistant if there was a medical reference book in the store, such a thing would be very useful now. Meanwhile, the head of the student council and her assistant were in the head teacher's office, the man wanted to involve as many students as possible in the educational process. Suddenly, Lily burst into their room, she told Zhang Bin about the violations of a depraved nature right in the gym closet. If they don't believe her, then the man can see for himself, the head teacher's wig flew off his head from shock, as usual, and he wanted to know the name of the offender. When Zhang Bin realized that he would once again have to deal with Chen, he was seriously angry, but he had to hide his real emotions. Otherwise, problems may arise with the leadership, instead the man began to praise the hero, his words were also confirmed by Lin Yu, in the end they decide to check everything on their own. Chen tried to revive his friend, the girl's whole face turned very red and she constantly asked the guy to hug her. At some point, someone's footsteps were heard outside the door, Doka immediately warned the guy about this, and Nana sharply grabbed her classmate by the neck. Since the girl had completely lost self-control under the influence of the medicine, the guy now had only one way out, he asked his assistant for invisibility water. Thanks to this item, the hero was able to disguise himself and his girlfriend, now if they do not make unnecessary noise, they will never be found. Lily couldn't figure out where her ex-boyfriend and Nona had gone, and the head teacher and Xia Bingden carefully examined every corner in the small storage room. Unfortunately there was one flaw in this plan, invisibility water costs 200 points per second, and the owner of the system uses a double portion, they cannot sit here for too long. The girl also created additional difficulties, she was not herself and really wanted to kiss Chen, because of this they could be heard. Suddenly Lily noticed some noise behind her, she immediately wanted to check this place, the couple was probably hiding there. Now the situation was becoming critical, Doka informed the owner of the system that they had been exposed and if they didn't come up with something, they would be finished. At this moment, the traitor had already come close to the wall behind which her classmates were hiding, in the end the hero had no choice. And he kissed his girlfriend, he didn't want to take advantage of Nana's deranged state, but he simply had no other choice. Looking around the corner, the head teacher was once again convinced that there was no one here, 
and Lily tried once again to prove the veracity of her words. Doka, in turn, tried to pull the owner of the system away from his classmate, they should stop this lewdness, they have been kissing for half a day. And Chen's ex-girlfriend could not calm down and continued to convince Zhang Bin, she saw with her own eyes the blatant violation of the rules. To somehow shut up the model, the guy decided to use a cap to reduce intelligence, it was really a great idea. As soon as the special thing from the store was on Lily's head, she instantly told her entire evil plan to the head teacher and two girls from the student council. Only after removing the headdress did the model realize what she had done, at that moment several people looked at her with contempt, why did she admit everything? By this point, Zhang Bin was already very fed up with Lily's stupid antics, so he would soon come up with a strict punishment for her. After the end of the lessons, almost all the students cheerfully ran away from the class to their homes, only Nana remained in the room, she looked very sad. Suddenly her sister came up to her and asked why she was in such a bad mood, Nona looked for her for several hours. It turned out that Nana doesn't remember anything at all about the latest events, she only managed to remember some journalist and a trip to the gym. But within a few seconds, memories of the kiss with Chen surfaced in the girl's head, at that moment her temperature rose sharply and she felt dizzy. Doka very quickly noticed that the system owner's classmate had woken up, now they should approach her and explain the whole situation. Meanwhile, the hero was looking at his face in the phone camera, his girlfriend managed to bite his lip during their kiss. In response to this, the assistant asked the guy not to pretend to be a victim, since he didn't mind touching Nana's lips at all. A few days later, the popularity of the school singer increased to unprecedented proportions, boys constantly approached her and confessed their love. Among other things, she was able to get ahead of even model Lily in the voting for the title of the new Celestial, and she had a real chance to win. Now Chen needs to seriously think about his relationship with his classmate, because very soon someone else might take her, but now the hero was not interested in that. Soon the bell rang for math class, and the young teacher wrote an example on the board that needed to be solved in a few steps. And she suggested that the owner of the system solve it, but for some reason the guy did not react at all, and the assistant tried to bring him to his senses. Despite this, Chen managed to quickly say the correct answer, the teacher praised him, but in any case he should not sleep in class. The hero's absent-minded behavior seemed strange to Doka, because before he had been much more attentive, but the guy himself denied everything. By the way, the beauty with the ears completely forgot to talk about the new tasks that became available after increasing the third level, for which you get points. These missions were daily, if you complete them all, then for the first day 100 points are given, and for the second 200 and so on, but if violated, the countdown starts from the beginning, Chen immediately agreed to take all the missions. Meanwhile, in Xia Bingden's office, the girl was discussing Lily's incredible stupidity, it was very stupid to rely on her incompetent plan. It turned out that Jing Lian was also present here, the assistant to the head of the student council ordered him to quickly get to the point and provide evidence of Chen's corruption. The answer to this guy asked the beauty not to worry so much and handed her a photograph, the hero clearly got into the lyceum without exams. The photograph showed the guardian of the system owner and the director of the educational institution, this image should be enough. Xia Bingden will not allow rules to be broken even by the most important person in their school, she will definitely achieve justice. The next day, the Wall newspaper published a photo of Chen and evidence of his dishonest admission to the Lyceum. The hero's friends and classmates immediately tore off the false announcements from the board, would the students really believe such stupid slander? The hero himself did not know about this yet, he only noticed the evil glances of those around him, at some point he came closer and turned to Lei Kai. The athlete quickly grabbed his friend by the hand and tried to take him away from the crowd, the athlete also explained the whole situation, someone made a wall newspaper and wrote slander about the guy. Soon, Xia Bingdeng and a former friend approached him, they wanted to publicly accuse Chen of getting into their elite educational institution without exams. After that, everyone suddenly wanted the hero to be expelled, for some reason, every day he became more and more enemies. Suddenly, Principal Lin came into the square, his expression was very stern and he loudly ordered all the students to be quiet. The man asked Xia Bingden what was going on here, and the girl accused him of corruption, because one of the students from their school got here without passing exams and a letter of recommendation. 
This means that Chen ended up in the Lyceum only by the man's personal decision, and the beauty was also able to find out that the guy's guardian knows the director, Xia Bingdang is going to file a complaint with the ministry. In response to this, Lin Yu asked her assistant how she could accuse her father of deception, since they had repeatedly witnessed Mr. Li's honesty. Xia Bingden was a little embarrassed, because they were good friends, but despite this, she was not going to back down, let everything be decided during the inspection. A few seconds later, the director himself admitted everything, he really accepted Chin into their lyceum without entrance exams, but he had objective reasons for this. Jing Liang immediately took advantage of the moment and asked what reasons there could be for such an act, but everything was already obvious, because the hero is the smartest student not only in his group, but in the entire lyceum. And if anyone doubts his abilities, they can conduct a test at any time, Xia Bingden instantly accepted this proposal, they must meet in the sacred competition hall. The hero must fight three eleventh graders in three subjects, if he wins, the girl will apologize to him, and if she loses, she will leave them at school forever. Apparently, in mathematics, the beauty wants to personally fight the guy, which is why she chose 11th graders as opponents, but in any case it sounds a little strange. A few hours later, a huge crowd gathered in the competition hall, and Director Lee approached the podium and announced the rules of the battle. The participants must come up with exactly three tasks for the opponent. At the same time, they must not violate the rules of the Lyceum. The one who can answer the most questions in 10 minutes wins, at that moment it all began. For the first task, Xia Bingden chose three problems, the first was on logic, the second required knowledge of geometry, and to solve the third, she needed to move two matches so that equality was obtained. The audience found these riddles incredibly difficult, Lei Kai had no idea how to solve even one, and his classmates tried unsuccessfully to move the matches. Next to them was Lin Yu, she assumed that these riddles were taken from the most difficult textbook, her assistant's father was a mathematics professor, he probably helped her. Despite this, Chen was able to answer all three questions very quickly, it only took him half a minute, and the audience began to admire him very much. After this, it was the hero's turn to give his tasks, in the first he had to count the number of legs of centipedes, the second was a play on words, and in the third he also had to move matches. From such riddles, the audience fell into a complete stupor, is anyone really so smart that they can solve such puzzles? But Lei Kai was confident in his brother, because he is a real genius and will win in any case, he even convinced Lin Yu of this, she should not worry. Xia Bingdeng reacted very impulsively, at first it seemed to her that such tasks had no correct answers at all, but Chen was ready to admit defeat if this was indeed the case. In this case, the best solution for the girl would be to try to solve the puzzles, and if she fails, she can accuse her opponent of cheating. It took Xia Bingden 10 minutes to solve the first two tasks, but she had problems with the third, which was actually a good result. Now the beauty demands an explanation, because if the hero does not tell how to solve the last riddle, then the winner will be determined by voting. However, there is no need for this, because the guy has already prepared an answer for his rival, it was drawn on a piece of paper. To complete this task, you need to turn the first rhombus into a hieroglyph, which represents the number one, so from two rhombuses you can very easily get one. The beauty couldn't understand why Chen was so smarter than everyone around, today he simply destroyed her, no one had ever humiliated the girl so much. The hero's friends were delighted with this performance, Lin Yu will now never doubt him, because the guy is a real good guy. The next competition will be in English, participants are required to give a speech on a free topic, the winner will be determined by artificial intelligence. In this round, Chen's opponent will be the last celestial, whose name was Lu Shana, she wanted to start first so that the guy could rest a little. Doka noticed that the girl behaved very calmly, such a character indicates complete confidence in her abilities, now the user of the system can really lose. This statement from the assistant upset Chen a little, because she should always be on his side, but in response to this, the beauty with the ears asked to show where it was written. Soon Lo Shana began her performance, she grew up in a family of diplomats, so she studied foreign languages from childhood. Now the hero has a real and strong opponent, even his classmates began to worry, but they were quickly reassured by Lei Kai, they just need to believe and hope for the best. 
A few minutes later, the celestial woman's performance ended, a special artificial intelligence gave her 95 points out of 100, an almost perfect result. Suddenly, one of the students began to panic very much, because Chen's championship path would most likely be interrupted, the athlete tried his best to calm him down. And Lin Yu, in turn, sat quietly in her place and prayed for the success of the hero, he must definitely win, because the stakes are too high. Unfortunately, the system could in no way help its owner remove the accent, but the guy himself was sure that this was only one of the criteria, the content and reaction of the audience was also important. To make the maximum impression on the audience, Chen gave a moving speech, which he read in one of the books of the past world. When Lu Shana listened to the hero's speech, goosebumps ran all over her body, his speech was simply beautiful, even the girl's father could hardly write such a thing. At some point, tears even appeared in the eyes of the celestial goddess from admiration, such a verse can touch the soul and stay there forever. Chen's classmates, unfortunately, did not understand English well, but they also appreciated the beautiful speech, or at least they tried to pretend to be so. A few minutes later, the second performance also ended. If we evaluate the perception of the audience, the guy was probably able to get ahead of his opponent. Meanwhile, in the storeroom, Xia Bingden scolded Jing Liang, everything was not going according to their plan and the girl's reputation was about to be destroyed, but the guy asked her to cool down. And after that, the scoundrel pushed the celestial woman to the side, she annoyed him, and besides, he has everything under control, Chen will never win this round. Soon the program announced that the hero had earned only 65 points out of 100, thus the winner of the second competition was Lo Shana. This result seemed complete nonsense, it seemed to Doka that in this world artificial intelligence had degraded even more than human intelligence. The hero could not understand why the program gave him such a low grade, in fact, it was the work of his former best friend. It turned out that somewhere outside the Lyceum there was a hacker hired by Jing Liang, who was easily able to hack the competition system. Right now a large sum has arrived in his bank account, the customer is very satisfied, and the hacker is always happy to help for a generous reward. The results of the competition surprised even Lushana, she also did not agree with them, because in her opinion the guy's speech turned out to be much better. The strangest thing was the hero's score, even if he could lose, his score should not be so low. The assistant wanted to appeal the second round, it's just a pity that no one heard her, in the end director Li announced the start of the final battle in the Chinese language. Chen asked Doku not to worry so much about him, because the man himself perfectly understands what happened today, artificial intelligence is not perfect. It turned out that Chen's opponent in the final round would be none other than Lin Yu, she didn't want to compete against her friend, but she is the most talented student in this subject. When Doka understood the whole situation, she suddenly perked up, she wanted the user of the system to completely destroy her rival. In response to this, the hero asked to buy all the available books with poems in the bookstore, and the assistant really liked this attitude. In this round, students need to come up with a verse from a certain number of characters, for Chen it consisted of 20 characters. And Lin Yu, in response to this, came up with a poem in which there were eight more characters, at first glance it might seem that the girl won. However, the hero soon began to argue that his version was actually better, because his friend's verse, although a little longer, made sense only if read from top to bottom. And Chen's work can be read in the following directions, from top to bottom and vice versa, from left to right and vice versa, in all these cases it will make sense. The beauty even felt dizzy with so much information, although she is good at the humanities, but that level is still far away. Having come to her senses a little, Lin Yu admitted defeat, in this round, the hero completely destroyed her and did not leave her a single chance. After this, final conclusions could be drawn, director Li wanted to declare the guy the winner of the competition, but suddenly Jing Liang ran into the hall. And he began to protest, because in his opinion, Lin Yu deliberately lost the battle to her friend, she is also the director's own daughter, the results should be annulled. The girl began to worry very much about the accusations against her, and Chen invited his former friend to compete one on one. In the end, the hero invited all the students of the Lyceum to come up with a poem better than his, in which case he would independently refuse to win. After this, there was complete silence in the hall, of course, none of the students could come up with a work better than that of the owner of the system. 
But suddenly a voice appeared behind Chen, it came from the screen on which the results were displayed, could this be the person who changed the results of the second round? Soon a huge verse consisting of an incredible number of characters appeared on the large monitor, it was definitely invented by a genius. It can be read horizontally and vertically, as well as in a spiral and in any direction, in total there were 7958 ways, it is one of the most difficult poems in history. Even if the guy can dig up a more complex verse in a bookstore, he will probably reveal his secret, and if he admits defeat, he will be kicked out of the Lyceum. After some time, Xia Bingdeng returned to the competition hall, she was sure that Jing Liang had gone beyond all limits, revenge on Chen was clearly not worth it. In fact, the traitor did not ask the hired hacker to do this, it later turned out that the criminal himself had nothing to do with the huge verse. This spoke only of one thing, apparently some other person managed to hack the school system, today's competitions turned out to be very crowded. In the end, the hero admitted defeat, his poem could in no way compete with the huge work on the screen, now he will have to leave. By admitting defeat, the guy would only be expelled, but he would still have the opportunity to find another school, it was better than revealing his secret, Xia Bingden immediately began to mock him. Lin Yu tried to convince the guy and asked him to challenge the decision, but Chen himself still challenged and lost, unfortunately this cannot be changed. Suddenly, Lo Shana independently turned to the director and asked to reconsider the results of the second round, she was sure that there was a mistake. The action of the celestial woman greatly angered Jing Liang, but the girl did not listen to him at all, because everyone saw how someone entered the system and challenged the hero. Because of this, all students began to demand re-evaluation, right now the artificial intelligence should evaluate the performances for the second time. After the technical department checked that the system had indeed been hacked, Chen eventually received 98 points and became the real winner. Thus, the hero held the victory and could stay in the Lyceum, Doka's heart almost stopped from excitement, the guy's friends began to rejoice for him. Among other things, there was another great news, for winning the competition, Chen earned 200,000 points and became a smart guy, his assistant even cried with happiness. After all, now her appearance has been updated, meet version 2.0, finally her forms have increased and she will not envy others. The beauty with ears suggested that the users of the system were numb from her beauty and asked him not to hold back, but the hero did not even understand what had changed, except that the hairstyle had become different. While Doka was beating Chen for stupid jokes, the guy received a notification that he received a special prize for increasing his rank, it was telepathy. It turned out that this is one of the eternal items, it will always be in your inventory and you don't need to buy it with points every time, you can use it to establish a telepathic connection with another person. There was only one condition, the owner of the system and the person with whom you want to create a connection must kiss at least once in your life, but the guy does not want to start a relationship with someone yet. Doki has an idea in this case, if Chen really doesn't want to kiss girls, then he can do it with a guy, fortunately the system has no prejudices in this regard. After logging out, the hero thanked Lu Shana for her action, in the future they agreed to practice English pronunciation together, Lin Yu became a little angry because of this. Meanwhile, Xia Bingden tried to escape from the hall with her accomplice, but the guy noticed them in time and reminded the girl of their agreement. But Jing Liang answered instead, he was sure that until the person admitted his defeat, he had not really lost, and in general Chen needed to look around more often. It was funny for the hero to hear such words from the lips of his former friend, since from the first day he promises to harm him, Chen is simply waiting for the right moment to finally destroy the bully's fate. As it turned out, the hacker who hacked the school system had been watching the hero for a long time, photographs were hung on the wall of his room, depicting moments from the past world. This person is definitely interested in Chen, but is not yet sure whether the hero belongs to the survivors, in any case, the hacker was very curious. A few days later, the owner of the system became incredibly popular among girls, many students declared their love for him and gave him gifts. Because of this, the guy was very embarrassed and asked his assistant to come up with something, if he started dating some girl, then the others would hate him. Classmates also noticed that the hero became very popular after winning the competition, while Lei Kai did not envy him at all, because he was only interested in Lin Yu. 
Only after some time did the athlete realize that his mistress also sympathized with Chen, at that moment his confidence was a little shaken. At this time, the owner of the system was just thinking about a plan to get out of the encirclement, now there were too many items in the store and it was difficult to immediately find the right one. Fortunately, he still managed to find his favorite item called luck, when the hero used it, he was invited over the loudspeaker to the student council office. A friend invited Chen to praise him for winning the competition and his extraordinary mental abilities, now he has the opportunity to transfer to a higher group. However, the hero immediately refused such an offer, it's good for him even in the tenth group, Lin Yu was a little surprised by this answer, because in his group they study, so to speak, special students in their own way. In fact, the guy did not want to attract unnecessary attention to himself, he would prefer to remain an ordinary student and help his classmates with their studies. The head of the student council admired the nobility of her friend, she did not even suspect that he was such a good person, and Doka nodded confidently, he is exactly like that for her. In this case, of course, no one will force Chen to move to another class, since he likes helping other students so much, then the girl has a proposal. And tomorrow was Saturday and Lin Yu wants to hold a study reception at his home, all the celestials will be there, the guy can bring his friends and they will do their homework together. The assistant with the ears had some doubts about this idea, but the hero had no other choice, he accepted his friend's invitation with a smile on his face. The next day, the owner of the ability and several of his classmates came to the house of the head of the student council, it was a huge mansion with a bunch of servants. The students had never seen such luxury before, so they were very surprised why so many staff would be needed. Soon the hostess of the house came out to the guests, she was wearing a very beautiful blue dress, she greeted the guys and asked them what they wanted to do today. Meanwhile, Lin Yu's two friends were already in Lin Yu's room, but for some reason one celestial woman was missing, apparently Xia Bing Den did not want to see the hero and decided to stay at home. After half an hour, some classmates were already a little tired from doing their homework, they, of course, understood that they had come here precisely for this, but it was still boring. In fact, the kids don't have to do only the school curriculum, the head of the student council assured them that she has a lot of other activities at home. The students were happy when they heard these words, one of them thought that they would have the opportunity to play the console, and the other wanted to have something tasty to eat. To their great regret, the mistress of the house had in mind a huge home library, which contains tens of thousands of books, from ancient to modern and from foreign to domestic, there is absolutely everything. Only Chen was happy about this turn of events, interest appeared in his eyes, but his friend seemed to be hoping to do something else. After some time, Lin Yu asked the hero to help her with one difficult task, Nana immediately noticed this, the singer clearly felt very jealous. Therefore, she tried to turn the guy's attention to herself, she said that she was almost finished with the work and she needed just a little help, but there was one very serious flaw in her plan. After all, every answer written on the notebook was incorrect, Nana clearly did her work in a hurry just to attract attention. In the end, Wang Yenxian grabbed her hand and dragged her to her desk, she knows how to solve her problems and can help, besides, it is the Celestial's duties to help her junior colleagues in their studies on the radio. Nana had no choice but to ask her little sister for help, Nona must somehow get Chen as far away from Lin Yu as possible. The artist is always very nervous when she has to improvise, so when she approached the guy, she didn't immediately think of what to say to him, Doka was even surprised at how many fans Chen had. Suddenly, Nona was taken under the wing of Lo Shana, since the tasks were related to the English language, it was the ambassador's daughter who could help solve them. The student with the headphones suggested that the beauties might soon fight for the attention of the hero, in such a situation, it is always more profitable to be an outside observer, Lei Kai completely agreed with him. The puzzle that the girl was talking about turned out to be very unusual, it combined mathematics and literature, this riddle was sent to Lin Yu by a friend. Despite the difficulty, Chen was able to quickly find a solution, now the head of the student council could easily take a photo of the notebook and send the photo. At this moment, the hero was thinking that Lin Yu has great potential in the humanities, especially given the huge library, if you enlist her loyalty, you can get a humanities missionary. Having thought everything over a little, the guy suddenly asked the hostess of the house how she should treat him, such a question sounded very ambiguous. Is Chen really asking her to date, 
the girl was so embarrassed that she dropped her phone on the floor and couldn't even say a word for a long time. Having come to her senses a little, Lin Yu said what she liked about the hero, first of all, he is very smart and noble, and she also feels safe next to him, but now she is not ready yet. And a second later the mistress of the house already said that she was ready, in the end she was completely confused and did not understand what she was saying, at that moment Lei Kai was ready to break his friend's neck. But in fact, Chen did not mean a close relationship at all, when Lin Yu realized this, she felt even worse, it seemed that the girl's heart became empty as if in a vacuum. And meanwhile, at one of the main universities in the country there was a lecture on mathematics, the teacher was a very young girl, her name was Yuan Susu, despite her age she had already received the title of Doctor of Science. Some students were a little confused by this, because the teacher looked more like a classmate, but in fact she is a very talented scientist. Even the most respected people of the academy recognized her as a genius, Yuan Susu gives lectures not only at this university, but also at the best educational institutions in the world, many believe that she will receive the Nobel Prize in Mathematics. Suddenly, the girl's phone rang, it turned out that she was Lin Yu's friend, the teacher independently came up with that riddle. She wondered how the head of the student council was able to find a solution so quickly, it was quite possible that someone helped her, Yuan Susu wanted to know more. And in the director's house, the students were still doing their homework, although Lei Kai mostly watched the beauty in a blue dress, she interested him more than science. Nana was not very successful with her examples, so Wang Yenqian scolded her at a rate of four syllables per second, but her sister did better, she and Lu Shana were able to find a common language. After some time, Director Li came to their room, he was delighted at the number of students who showed a desire to delve deeper into science. The owner of the house thanked Chen for his incredible mental abilities, thanks to which the director was able to maintain his reputation, and the guy, as usual, insisted that he was not that smart. After this, the man invited the hero to his office, he had an important conversation, one of his classmates suggested that now Mr. Li would marry Lin Yu. But he was immediately insistently asked to be silent by two people at once, Nana and Lei Kai did not want to hear such nonsense in the direction of their lovers. When the hero entered the office, the first thing he did was ask the owner of the house about other survivors, he was sure that that time it was such a person who displayed an incredibly huge verse on the screen. But in fact, everything was completely different, it was Director Lee who did this, the guy and his assistant could not believe it, why did they even need to do this? Since much of the knowledge has been lost, some information from the past world is now considered sacred, and the huge verse can be called a real treasure. The school system was hacked by some unknown hacker, it is quite possible that he is part of a gang of survivor hunters, the villains already know about the genius who is studying at the Lyceum. In order to divert the attention of criminals from Chen, Mr. Li independently used a unique work, now the hunters are confused and do not know who exactly is the survivor. At the same time, the man asks the guy not to worry too much about this, the director will do everything in his power to protect the hero and his sister. And the owner of the house also told the owner of the system about a meeting of scientists that would be in a neighboring city in a few days, it would be great to see the young genius there. Doka immediately recommended that Chen agree that if he frequently contacts smart people, the speed of knowledge dissemination will increase many times over. Despite this, the hero for some reason refused, the assistant could not believe her ears, it seemed to her that the owner of the system was simply mocking her. After some time, evening came, the guy, his sister and uncle were sitting at the table, the man wanted to know why Chen refused the director's offer. In fact, the hero only now realized how dangerous the gang of hunters was, he could not go to another city and leave Yin alone, the risks were too great. The man understood the guy's fears, but precisely for this reason they must think ahead, they need to find more survivors as soon as possible. Such people would probably be present at the meeting, but Chen didn't even want to leave his little sister, she looked very cute and offered her brother her piece of food. Suddenly the hero heard something that completely captured his attention, most likely, old acquaintances of his father would also be present at the conference. After thinking a little, the guy decided to go to another city, but now he wanted to stay with his sister as long as possible, he decided to read her a bedtime story. Before leaving, his uncle gave Chen the documents that his father had left, for the guardian, they had no meaning, like an encrypted message, 
you need to find a person who can read them. Only in this way will the guy be able to understand the true reasons for the death of a loved one, he promised himself to find out the whole truth at all costs. After that, Chen went to his sister's room and tried to kiss her, Doka thought that the guy had gone completely crazy and tried to stop him. But in fact, she simply misunderstood everything, the assistant herself talked about the telepathy skill, in order to activate it you need to kiss another person. As a result, the hero plucked up courage and approached Ian closely, at that moment they looked a little strange, the hero also thought so. And in the end he couldn't stand it, he couldn't kiss his sister on the lips and ran away, he only had enough for a quick kiss on the forehead. A few days later, Chen and his assistant arrived in another city, the meeting was held in a huge mansion, the smartest people in the world were present here. Director Lee sincerely thanked the guy, he was pleased to see him here, and the hero promised to live up to the expectations placed on him. Lin Yu was also present nearby, suddenly a very loud male voice was heard somewhere nearby, some scientist was scolding the young girl. It turned out that Yuan Susu was arguing with a respected man about her incredible diagrams of the eight trigrams, in the man's opinion they were completely wrong. But the girl did not agree with him, because the accusations against her theory were unfounded, according to her calculations, the scheme should look exactly like this. The young scientist looked very confident in her argument with the experienced academician, the hero wanted to get to know her, and perhaps learn something new. Quite quickly, Chen realized that it was this girl who sent Lin Yu that riddle about lotuses, while the argument between the two scientists continued. But in fact, the experienced academician simply did not understand the depth of Yuan Susu's thoughts, the man considered her mathematical methods to be complete nonsense. In the end, the girl got tired of arguing with the stupid imposter, about people like him they say that their only achievements are old age. After this phrase, the hero wanted to meet the young scientist even more, he asked his friend if Yuan Susu really came up with that riddle. When the guy received a positive response, he immediately asked Lin Yu for the young scientist's contact on a social network, but she doesn't add just anyone. But the head of the student council really shouldn't worry about this, now Chen is more confident in himself than ever, he will definitely be able to find an approach and make friends with Yuan Susu. Because of the hero's behavior, the girl was a little upset, it seemed to her that the hero liked the scientist, did he really fall in love with her at the first meeting? When sending a friend request, the owner of the system attached a message that talked about 10 types of people, of which only one could understand Chen. The point was to interest Yuan Susu from the very beginning, the hero asked her if she could understand his true motives and help in one matter. The guy's plan really worked, 10 minutes later the girl accepted his friend request, and besides, a slight smile appeared on her face, she was clearly interested. Lin Yu couldn't believe her eyes, she was sure until recently that her brilliant friend would not want to communicate with Chen, and besides, he invited the scientist to meet. The entire familiar world of the head of the student council collapsed in one moment, because Yuan Susu immediately agreed that the scientist was really so accessible, and Doka suggested that the two geniuses had some kind of secret code. Director Lee noticed that the guy was interested in the scientist and asked him about it, the hero first of all wants to find out if she is one of the survivors. After all, a scientist can convert numbers from binary to decimal, such mental abilities are not typical for representatives of the new world. After this, the guy was suddenly pushed away by one of the academicians, the man really wanted to talk to Director Lee and he decided not to bother with good manners. It's unlikely that Lin Yu's father will be able to have a calm conversation in the near future, because he is very popular in these circles, Chen, meanwhile, was thinking about how he could surpass Yuan Susu. A few minutes later he was pushed in the back a second time, it turns out his girlfriend is no less popular than her father, several students brought her their gifts. But ordinary students could not be compared with Xu Sifeng, he was one of the vice chairman of the Union of Academicians, a very proud and narcissistic young man, who, among other things, has long dreamed of marrying Lin Yu, but the girl herself never understood why the aristocrat was so confident in his abilities, it was as if he had already decided everything for her. Despite her dissatisfaction, the guy with white hair continued to stand his ground, because someone like him needs a very beautiful and talented bride, no one is better suited for this role than Lin Yu. To demonstrate his unique talent to ordinary mortals, 
Xu Sifeng asked his assistants to prepare everything necessary for calligraphy. This guy's behavior was too strange, it seemed that he imagined himself as the main character of the film, and also brought his maids here. But the other guests had a different opinion, the aristocrat also had his own fans, some asked him to give them the brush after the performance. A few minutes later, the brilliant Xu Shifeng finished his world-class work, he wrote a declaration of love for Lin Yu on a large scroll. It was hard to believe, the arrogant aristocrat managed to write one of the letters so poorly that the whole meaning of the phrase was lost, Chen and his help Qin could hardly restrain their laughter. The deputy chairman immediately noticed the ridicule in his direction and ordered the hero to stop, after all, he was not trying for him, but for his future bride. Only after this did Xu Sifeng ask who Chen even was, since they had never met before, why was he even standing so close to Lin Yu? The owner of the system said that he was helping the head of the student council in mathematics, suddenly several of the aristocrats' assistants accused the hero of bad manners. In their opinion, Chen will never in his life be able to write as beautifully as Xu Sifeng, in order to prove the maids otherwise, the guy asked Doki for a collection of poems, she is just an ideal assistant. Thus began a calligraphic battle between the hero and the arrogant aristocrat, but suddenly the owner of the system realized that he had done something stupid. Because of Xu Sifeng's stupid behavior, he completely forgot about the safety rules, there might be hunters here, you can't stand out too much. For a few seconds, the hero froze in one position to think about everything, and when the vice chairman accused him of cowardice, Chen finally decided to put him in his place. However, he does not want to do this with the help of calligraphy, because leaving samples of his handwriting is too risky, the guy would rather just read the poem. For the next few minutes, the owner of the system recited an incredibly beautiful poem, such beautiful lines could make any soul flutter in the air. Lin Yu was also no exception, when she listened to the speech from Chen's mouth, she imagined their wedding together, she did not want to hide her real feelings. When the hero finished his speech, Xu Shifeng froze in shock. He could not even imagine that an ordinary student was capable of something like that. Despite this, the aristocrat quickly came to his senses and tried to pretend that he was not at all impressed by the hero's talent, but his assistants were already ready to go to serve another master. A crowd of girls surrounded Chen, they asked to take them on as students and apologized for disrespect in the past, the assistants incredibly liked the work. Because of this, Xu Sifeng became completely angry, he began to scold his subordinates and threaten them with dismissal, and he was generally ready to tear the hero into pieces. Now the best solution would be to simply run away, the guy grabbed his girlfriend by the hand and together they walked away from the angry aristocrat. When they were already safe, all the guests were announced that the gala banquet in honor of Master He's birthday would soon begin, it turned out that this was not just a meeting of scientists. The friend told the hero how everything works, Master He is the chairman of the Union of Academicians, the main scientists of the country come to congratulate him on his anniversary, and the meeting is just an additional reason. The main representatives of the scientific world formed the so-called Union 50 years ago, the core of the organization was eight families, whose representatives are engaged in science. There are also two vice chairmen of the Union, the first is Director Li, and the second, respectively, Xu Shifeng, this is a very high and respected position. At this moment, I didn't think that the aristocrat was apparently not such a stupid young man, but in fact, you shouldn't make hasty conclusions. To be honest, Xu Sifeng is a completely ordinary guy, he inherited a high position, because it was important to maintain balance within the union. Moreover, he himself understands that he is nothing of himself, which is why he wants to marry Lin Yu, so he can gain even more influence. This banquet is simply an ideal opportunity to prove yourself and fit into the environment of academics, Doka strongly recommends that the guy not miss this chance. Meanwhile, the wife of the chairman of the union was already speaking in the banquet hall, she thanked everyone present for the visit, after all, such important people always have a lot to do. By the way, the head of the student council completely forgot to tell her friend about the hostility that used to take place among the members of the union representatives of the humanities and exact sciences always disliked each other. But everything changed just when grandfather he and his wife fell in love with each other, they were representatives of opposing camps, after which the dispute was stopped. Now the chairman of the union is already quite old and can resign at any moment, so there is a behind-the-scenes struggle for his place. 
the guy could not even think that he would end up on the battlefield for the title of chief. After some time, everyone began to give gifts, Shu Sifeng greeted the chairman's wife in his usual manner and asked his assistants to bring out his gift. It was of course a large scroll with several phrases, somehow the aristocrat made a mistake for the second time, he spelled the word tiger incorrectly. Now it was even more difficult for the owner of the system and his assistant to hold back their laughter, was the guy really that bad, after all, he had been doing only calligraphy all his life. In response to this, the aristocrat accused Chen of bad manners, in his opinion, the stupid student simply does not know how to read and is finding fault. Next was Lin Yu's turn, she decided to make a similar gift and wrote congratulations on a small piece of paper, she had very beautiful handwriting. The elderly woman praised the girl and Shu Sifeng, the aristocrat decided to take advantage of the moment and frame the hero, he said that the hero also prepared a gift with his own hands. This was indeed a very vile act, because the guy only found out a few minutes ago about the anniversary of the chairman of the council, how could he prepare something? The deputy just wanted to put the arrogant schoolboy in his place, in his opinion he behaves too calmly, how is Chen going to get out of such a situation? At this moment, everyone present turned their attention to the owner of the system, no one could understand what family he was from, and Doc recommended finally putting the stupid upstart in his place. To do this, the hero can use a special item called the Hand of God, with its help, you can copy any inscriptions and images, you don't even need to leave your handwriting. And what would Chen do without his assistant, fortunately, with an increase in rank, useful tools became available in the store, now the guy doesn't have to worry about evidence. The aristocrat, in turn, was sure that an ordinary student would not be able to draw anything worthy in such a short time, so he wanted to emphasize his superiority. A few minutes later, the owner of the system drew a black and white picture of a tired horse, at first glance the work was completely unremarkable. Xu Sifeng accused Chen of disrespect and called the guards, in his opinion, the drawing of a dying horse insulted the honorable age of Master He. The wife of the chairman of the council did not like the hero's work, it became clear from her face that the woman was very dissatisfied. But the owner of the system himself looked calm and confident as always, he probably has a reliable plan with which he can surprise everyone around him. There is no need to rush to call the guards, because the hero simply hasn't finished yet, by the way, the assistant also had no doubts about Chen's skills. After some time, a poem about a turtle appeared near the black and white horse, if you look at it superficially, there is absolutely no logic in this. Suddenly the scroll of paper glowed bright yellow, now the guy had finally finished his work, he asked all the guests to appreciate his efforts. The glow was so bright that you had to close your eyes from it, somehow Chen managed to revive the horse, the stallion acquired wings and rose high up. At the same time, the entire banquet hall was filled with beautiful lines about a proud horse who still remembers racing under the sky. Each word of the work contained incredible power, the beautiful poems reminded the chairman's wife of their youth together, never before had such works created such an effect. After that, the elderly woman apologized to Lin Yu, apparently in this generation there is a talented guy between her and Xu Sifeng. Because of this whole situation, the aristocrat became very angry, among other things, the hero managed to make fun of his gift, the work contained words about a dead turtle. Now the academics were able to see with their own eyes the talent of the owner of the system, everyone around him began to admire him and predicted his marriage to Lin Yu. Then the banquet continued, and respected people began to approach the guy, no matter how hard he tried, he could not go unnoticed anywhere. When scientists found out who the hero's father was, they always spoke of Mr. Chen with great gratitude, the man was an incredible genius. His son thanked the guests for their kind words, it was very important for him to hear the opinions of others about the innocence of his close relative in that situation. The most intelligent people in the country remembered the father of the owner of the system with great kindness, he was obliged to find out the whole truth and restore the good name of his family. A few hours later, the banquet ended and the guy and his girlfriend went out for a walk, the union of academicians booked a whole hotel for themselves, two days were allocated for the event. Since they have a lot of free time, Lin Yu suggested that her friend go to the park, where there is a pond and a boat ride. Meanwhile, the wedding was already taking place in the girl's imagination, she really wanted to swim down the river with Chen, as if they were two beautiful swans.
but Xu Sifeng suddenly appeared, he shouted loudly and tried to convince the head of the student council that the hero was actually a deceiver. It was funny to watch, did the aristocrat really not have enough humiliation and came for more, and also brought some strange assistance with him. It turned out that the vice chairman found out about Chen's past and accused his family of stealing intellectual property. Xu Sifeng also insulted the guy's father, because of this he became very angry, meanwhile, the assistant had already prepared items with which to punish the scoundrel. Lin Yu, in turn, tried to calm her friend down, because in her opinion it was obvious that the arrogant aristocrat was simply provoking him. Soon, Yuan Susu approached them, the guy with white hair was so carried away that he did not notice her presence, this was a big mistake. Because the young scientist gave him a strong slap in the face as soon as she was nearby, probably only she would have the courage to do such an act. Xu Shifeng ordered her to immediately apologize, but the girl did not want to do this, he had just asked him to hit him. Unable to control himself, the aristocrat swung his hand at the scientist, she skillfully took advantage of the moment and pretended to be fragile and tender. Because of this, Xu Sifeng came to his senses and did not beat her, but the scientist decided to complete the matter and independently put his hand on her cheek. Then she accused the guy with white hair of beating him, how could he raise his hand against such a gentle beauty, while Lin Yu took photographs. To prove his innocence, the aristocrat turned to his assistants, because he had witnesses who clearly saw that he did not beat anyone. To his great regret, the influence of Yuan Susu and her study friend was too great, so the deputy students quickly changed their minds. Xu Sifeng had to leave, and the hero thanked the scientist for her help, now they have incriminating evidence and the arrogant high riser no longer bothers them. The young scientist also mentioned her plans, it turned out that she took the guy's message as an offer to meet, the girl is free and doesn't mind at all. Therefore, Chen needs to decide right now whether he will go on a date with her or stay with Lin Yu, apparently a serious confrontation is brewing. In fact, the guy didn't even know that Yuan Susu had already revealed his identity, because he sent his friend request under a pseudonym. But for such a brilliant scientist it was very simple, the girl was able to decipher the letters and symbols, after which she simply looked for information about the hero's family in the news. Thus, Yuan Susu learned about the fate of Mr. Chen, who died shortly before the birthday of his own son. In addition, only a few have her contacts on a social network and the girl noticed that her friend was constantly hanging out with some stranger. The pseudonym also contained the number 721, the girl always treated him in a special way, because if you raise it to the 8th power, the resulting number will not contain the number 7, 1, or 2. Yuan Susu's behavior was quite strange, she is certainly an unusual person, but it was more like madness, the hero was simply born on the 7th of the 12th month. In response to this, the scientist stated that she simply likes numbers, she believes that each has its own soul and unique character, meaning surround her throughout her life and are her best friends. Having come to reality a little, Yuan Susu became slightly embarrassed, she herself understood perfectly well that other people did not understand the full depth of her thoughts. In the end, the girl concluded that Chen also did not understand anything, it seems that she was mistaken when she relied on his unique abilities. But in fact, the hero understood her perfectly, to everyone else, the scientist looked very strong, but deep down she was tender and fragile. To prove the sincerity of his words, the hero told Yuan Susu about his observations on the topic of indivisible unity, at that moment the scientist realized that she had rushed to make a decision. Apparently the guy is really as strange as she is, she finally managed to meet her soulmate. Now it remains to decide which establishment they will go to on their first date, but Chen asked the girl to wait a little, because this is not what he had in mind. Yuan Susu, in turn, could not understand what the hero was talking about, he himself sent her a message with a proposal to meet, how else can this be interpreted? Moreover, the guy in general, in all respects, meets the standards that the scientist is ready to present to her future groom, so she is ready to give him a chance. After this, the owner of the system tried to explain how things really were, he simply noticed that the girl was very smart and knew a lot. In addition, he comes from a family of academics, the first thing Chen did was give Yuan Susu a phone with a picture of a numerical code on it. To understand it, you definitely need to know the encoding method, the girl saw a package with something similar at home, it is in the family library. 
When the hero heard the scientist's answer, he immediately asked to lend him scrolls with information, but such things are considered the main family heirlooms and are never given to outsiders. Despite this, the guy has a chance to read secret knowledge, Chen was ready for anything, he had never been so close to his goal. To gain access to family heirlooms, you need to become part of this very family, then the hero will cease to be a stranger to them. It turns out that the only way to decipher his father's secret message was marriage to Yuan Susu, the guy expected to hear anything, but not this. By the way, the girl's offer is still valid, during their communication she even managed to give the guy grades, the average score was 83 out of 100, this is a pretty good result. Suddenly, a voice was heard from the scientist's phone, she once developed a special application for finding a chosen one, the hero was the first worthy candidate. This behavior of her friend infuriated Lin Yu, in her opinion, Yuan Susu was behaving too obscenely, after all, she was from a decent family. The scientists immediately realized that the head of the council was also in love with the hero, but the girl with blonde hair, in response to this, began to sharply deny everything. The friends had been competing in their studies since childhood, one had a predisposition to the exact sciences, and the other to the humanities, it was still unclear who deserved to win. And now, apparently, it's time to find out who is more worthy of the hero's heart, very quickly the peaceful conversation turned into a real war. Suddenly, some unknown old man appeared from the bushes, he complained about the young people who were not allowing him to rest properly. It turned out that it was none other than Chairman He himself, the elderly man behaved too strangely for his position. The two girls politely apologized to him, and the Supreme Chairman said that today he was too lazy to teach someone wisdom, after all, it was his birthday. Instead, the older man wants to take the guy with him for a while, he wants to chat with him about the heights and depths of the philosophy of human life. The others could not understand why Mr. He was so interested in the hero, after all, they met for the first time, how much Xu Sifeng wanted to be in his place. First of all, Chen wanted to know why the elderly man chose him, he is quite bad at philosophy, in fact, it was just an excuse to take him to a safe place. Now it became clear that the Supreme Chairman had been watching the hero for a long time and knew about his goals, for his sake he even went out into public. At one time, the elderly man was very similar to the owner of the system, he looked just as attractive, all the girls ran after him, but when he got married, his happy life ended. Mr. He's behavior surprised the guy a little, his girlfriend described the most influential person in their field in a completely different way. In addition, the Supreme Chairman asked very frank questions, he became interested in who, in the end, the hero liked more, Yuan Susu or Lin Yu. Suddenly, the old man very persistently recommended that the guy choose a girl with the best figure, he should not think about who would be the best wife. After the gentleman got married, he was forbidden to look at the girls for a long time, no one understands the old master, everyone just gives stupid pieces of paper. After some time, the hero had a great idea, he can help the old master improve his sad situation, he will have beauties for every taste. When the supreme chairman heard this, his eyes shone with joy, he was ready to fulfill any conditions, but his wife should never know about it. In fact, no difficult actions are needed. When evening came, the guy and the elderly gentleman went to the hotel room. At first, Mr. He was skeptical about this and could not understand where the girls were promised to him, it turned out that they were all laid out on the table. Thanks to a special system, Chen was able to buy a bunch of adult magazines from a special store that were created during the old world. Such a selection will never leave the old man indifferent, today the doors to a new unknown world have opened for the chairman. Doka tried to justify herself because she has nothing to do with such adult content and does not understand how it ended up in the store. After that, the guy asked his assistant to look after the man, and he himself went to another room and tried to see how his little sister was doing. Fortunately, he quickly managed to establish a telepathic connection with Ian, the girl, as usual, was in her room and was about to go to bed. After all, it was already very late, the sister could not understand where Chen's voice was coming from, it turned out that there were several villains behind her. Because of this, the hero was able to hear a lot of extraneous noise, but he and Doka thought that it was because of the kiss on the forehead, for a good connection it was necessary to kiss on the lips. In the end, Chen thought that Ian was completely safe and it was better not to disturb her, 
but the girl was most likely kidnapped by a group of hunters. The next day the guy woke up very early, he spent the whole night at the door, and lord he still hasn't left the room, it's better not to even think about what he was doing there. A few minutes later, the hero decided to check on the elderly man and was surprised at how strange the chairman was behaving, he sat still and did not move. At some point, the owner of the system and his assistant even thought that the old man had died, if this was really the case, then they would be in big trouble. However, after a few seconds the gentleman joyfully jumped to his feet and began to dance, he had not been in such a good mood for a very long time. After that, the chairman put his hands on the hero's shoulders and thanked him for his help, from now on he is his debtor, the guy can ask for anything. Unfortunately, since the magazines were from a special store, they could not constantly exist in the real world, because then Chen would simply die. If the elderly man wants to take another look at the materials he is interested in, then he just needs to contact the guy, besides, if Mr. He takes them home, then his wife may catch him. And now Chen wanted to ask the chairman for one favor, if he helps him, he will be able to see new magazines, there are a lot of them in the store. The guy showed the code on his phone, since even Yuan Susu understood that something was encrypted in her father's materials, then Mr. He probably knows even more. An elderly man asked the hero if he really was a survivor, somehow he was able to determine this only by looking at the mysterious message. Now Chen didn't want to tell all his secrets, so he tried to pretend that he didn't understand anything, but he shouldn't lie to the chairman. Because Director Li has already told everything, after the former civilization was destroyed, the whole world lost most of the information, some knowledge was preserved in the form of secret scrolls. Each of the eight families that form the bones of the Union of Academicians has such relics, in order to understand the encrypted data, you will most likely need to carefully study all eight bundles. Finally, the hero was able to find out valuable information, he definitely needs to understand what information his father left for him, the only way he can restore his good name. At the same time, the guy needs to prepare for difficulties, because influential families treat their treasures extremely carefully and will never allow outsiders to study them. Even Mr. He himself does not have access to them, after listening carefully to the elderly man, the hero began to leave, he promised to give the magazines back a little later. Meeting the hero made a strong impression on the main chairman, he began to seriously consider him as his heir. Now the owner of the system and his assistant need to figure out a way by which they can get the scrolls, the easiest way was to marry Yuan Susu. So far, Chen has not finally decided how he will act, but he will definitely find all the relics, suddenly his guardian called him and told him the bad news. The man had already searched the whole house, but could not find Ian anywhere, and on the floor in her room there was a soft toy that she never parted with. From what he heard, the guy experienced a strong feeling of anxiety, he had only spoken to her last night, his sister would never have run away on her own. There was only one option left, in any case, the girl was kidnapped by a gang of hunters, the owner of the system dropped all his affairs and ran to her aid. Meanwhile, in an unknown place, Ian lay unconscious and with her hands tied, the hero was able to see this through telepathy. The assistant with the ears tried to calm the guy down, there's no need to stress yourself out so much, most likely his little sister is alive, the hunters just gave him sleeping pills. Unfortunately, the event took place in a suburban area, from where it is very difficult to call a taxi, after a while an unknown car appeared on the road. It turned out that Lin Yu saw her friend running out of the hotel in a hurry, so she rented a car so they could go wherever they wanted. Chen sincerely thanked his friend and asked her to go to his house as soon as possible, Yuan Susu noticed them, perhaps she misunderstood everything. On the way to her hometown, Lin Yu asked Chen why he looked so worried, in response to which the guy told the whole situation with his kidnapped sister. When the girl heard this story, she was so worried that she almost had an accident, she must definitely tell the police about it. Quite quickly they managed to get to the desired city, but for some reason there were big traffic jams everywhere, although usually the roads here are half empty. Fortunately, they had another ally, a few minutes later a girl on a red motorcycle stopped near their car and continued to help them. After all, Yuan Susu has serious plans for Chen, and she will not allow her friend to steal him away so easily, their rivalry still continues. Thanks to the help of the scientist, the heroes managed to get to the hero's house in just a few minutes, but riding a two-wheeled vehicle with three of them is quite dangerous. 
First of all, the guy decided to check the CCTV cameras, but nothing could be found on them, no one entered Yin's room. At the same time, the man discovered something strange, in the period from 1 in the morning to 2, the picture was absolutely static, not a single leaf swayed. Someone deleted the original footage and inserted a simple picture, most likely the same hacker who changed the scores at the competition. If you didn't look closely, no one would have noticed this, the uncle, in turn, was not sure of this, because no one could know about the girl's secret. She never even left the house, out of anger the guy hit the table with his fist with all his might, he completely blamed himself for what happened to Ian. The owner of the system was too careless and accidentally made a mistake, unfortunately, he couldn't even remember where he made the mistake. After that, the guy suddenly jumped up from the table and screamed, his little sister was able to contact him using a telepathic connection. It was necessary to find out where she was, but the sister could not move or speak, and besides, she was very scared and wanted to go home. What was happening surprised Lin Yu a little and she asked her friend who he was talking to now, because the guy had not yet told anyone about telepathy. Yuan Susu was very interested in such an unusual ability, but now Chen cannot be distracted, the connection could be interrupted at any moment. The only source of light in the room where Yin was kept was a small window, if she can describe what is on the street, then perhaps it will be possible to find her coordinates. The girl only managed to talk about houses and a panda playing with a big ball, at first glance, this might seem like nonsense. At this moment, the connection with my sister was cut off again, was she really being held somewhere near the zoo, or perhaps the animals were on the advertising poster. However, these versions had nothing to do with reality, only Yuan Susu understood what Ian was talking about, the scientist asked to give her a map. The ball that the girl was talking about is actually the observation floor of the TV tower, and the panda is on the roof of the World Center building. Although these two locations are located far from each other, from a certain angle and distance they can seem like a single hole. At least the heroes already know that the sister is in the eastern part of the city, and since she said that it was the panda who was playing with the ball. From her viewing angle, these objects are at the same height, Ian was definitely kept in a building that is located on a certain segment. Calculations helped greatly narrow down the search area, but the exact location of the sister still remains unknown, something else is needed. In search of clues, Chen tried once again to contact Ian, but nothing worked for him, his telepathy skill worked too poorly. Doka informed the owner of the system that another option could be found in the store, which allows you to see through the eyes of the person with whom the connection is established. The guy couldn't understand why the assistant told about this only now, in fact, to use such a technique, you need to find another missionary. While trying to grab the illusory Doku, the hero accidentally hugged Yuan Susu, and they hadn't even met yet, because of this the girl was embarrassed, now the first thing she needs to do is find the missionary. Lin Yu was perfect for this role, Chen quickly took her hand and said that he urgently needed help, for this he needed to go into the system. For the first time, finding herself inside the unusual space, the girl was slightly confused, now the hero must explain everything to her properly. It only took a few minutes for the guy to do this, now his girlfriend knew the whole truth, Lin Yu immediately agreed to become a missionary. She finally understood why the hero sometimes behaved so strangely, and the owner of the system wanted to apologize to his friend for one act. That time at the competition, he defeated her dishonestly, because he used the knowledge he received from a special store. In fact, the head of the student council was not offended at all, she realizes the importance of Chen's mission and is ready to do everything in her power to save humanity. It's too early to talk about this yet, in order to become a real missionary, you still need to pass a special test, it consists of several stages. To fulfill all the conditions of the first one, you need to have excellent abilities in the humanities, the girl fit this criterion. The second stage of verification concerned the candidate's level of integrity, and the third checked loyalty to the carrier of the system, Lin Yu met all the parameters. The guy was sure that within a few minutes his girlfriend could become his main ally, but suddenly the fourth stage of the test failed. Immediately after this, the hero tried to find out from Doki why this happened, but so far they do not know the evaluation criteria, first they need to pass all the tests. Because of the failure, Lin Yu became very upset and began to cry, because she would not be able to help her friend, but Chen calmed her down and assured her that everything was fine. 
In the end, the girl calmed down and wiped the tears from her eyes, she was sure to continue to do everything possible to save her little sister. After returning to reality, the head of the student council immediately informed the others that they needed to move out as soon as possible in search of Ian. From the outside it looked a little strange, because the girl changed her character in an instant, now she was completely confident in her abilities. The uncle also decided not to waste time and follow Lin Yu, and the hero will continue trying to contact his sister, as soon as he manages to find out something, he will report. Um, after some time, the guy finally succeeded and he heard Yin's voice, she said that she was very scared and that kidnappers had come to her. The hunting group consisted of three people, the hacker was called the Locust, the girl with white hair was called the Red Bee, and the last villain was called the Flat Cyclade. Locust tried to pass himself off as a good person and offered the hostage some chips, but they didn't even untie her hands. It seemed to the Red Bee that the girl looked more like a stupid child than a representative of the past world, but the hacker noticed that she was much smarter than she might seem at first glance. To be completely sure, the cicada suggested giving her one more test, for this she would need pencils and a piece of paper. The confused girl was seated at the table and asked not to be afraid, because she was doing this for her own good, in any case, her brother would help her. However, don't think that these scoundrels have even a drop of humanity, the criminal took her pistol off the safety and put it to Yin's head. If the girl did poorly on her math test, then the Red Bee would fire her weapon, the only ray of hope for the sister was the connection with Chen. Using telepathy, he supported and reassured her all the time, by the way, if you press your fingers to your temple, the connection becomes much better. In this way, the girl could convey the conditions of the tasks to the guy, and the hero, in turn, would say the answers, he needed to make sure that the villains let her go. At that moment, Ian perceived her brother as a real guardian angel who always stands behind her and helps in difficult situations. Thanks to their combined efforts, she was able to complete her test fairly quickly and asked to go home, but for now the hunters were evaluating her work. The test was mixed with problems of different levels, the hero solved exactly as many as Yin's peer from a degraded world could solve, now the scoundrels must let his little sister go. After some time, the cicada came to the conclusion that the girl was an ordinary schoolgirl, she hardly had any outstanding abilities. Because of this, the Red Bee became very angry, because the hacker assured her that Ian was a survivor, the girl was very harsh and immediately took out her gun. As a result, the hunters decided that they had wasted their time, next time they need to be completely confident in their guesses before kidnapping the child. As always, the stupid locust was of no use, next time the girl promises to shoot him, she is already very tired of him. Now Ian could finally go home, the hacker tried to be polite and removed the duct tape from her mouth, as well as untied her arms and legs. Thanks to his telepathy skill, Chen immediately found out about this and was able to breathe a sigh of relief, the worst was over and he and his sister would meet soon. By the way, Yuan Susu was next to him all this time, using a special device she recorded vibrations of brain waves, after all, this is the first time she has encountered such a unique skill. Soon Yin was already on the street, but unfortunately she had no idea where to go, because she didn't know this area at all, she needed to find some passers-by. The hunters were not going to just let their hostage go, the Red Bee decided to follow her a little more, the girl's behavior seemed strange to her. After all, for some reason she kept her fingers to her temple all the time, the hacker assumed that she just had a headache, and during the tests she did exactly the same. But the criminal, in turn, did not believe it, thanks to many years of experience, she was sure that there was some hidden meaning in this. Therefore, the huntress took out her pistol and pointed it directly at Ian, the locust tried to stop her, but she did not listen to him at all. Intuition has never failed the Red Bee before, they must have made hasty conclusions when they recognized the hero's sister as an ordinary schoolgirl. The next moment a shot rang out, Ian did not even have time to turn towards the criminal, and the connection with her brother was completely lost. Because of this, he froze in horror, alarming thoughts immediately began to appear in his head, wondering if the worst had happened. The scientist noticed that the guy felt bad and tried to help him, having come to his senses a little, Chen told how at the last second he heard a loud shot. Unfortunately, repeated attempts to contact my sister were unsuccessful, now we urgently need to come up with another way to find her. But there was good news, when using the telepathy skill, 
the guy managed to see with his own eyes that same panda and a big ball. Somehow he managed to activate second level telepathy, and in addition to the television tower and the world center, he saw the building of the Ministry of Finance. With the help of some calculations, the ingenious scientist Rezin established the exact location of Ian, the sister is located in the area of the logistics terminal. The first thing Chen decided to do was inform his uncle about this, the man went to this place immediately after the call. Now there was only one question left, why did the owner of the system suddenly gain a second level ability, it was definitely related to Lin Yu. A little later, a notification appeared that said about passing the last stage of the test, in order to complete it you need to be prepared for self-sacrifice. It turned out that the head of the student council discovered Ian just at the moment when the red bee was shooting at her, only by miracle her sister was saved. Because of this, the bullet hit the girl's hand, but at the same time she was still happy, because she was finally able to help her close friend. Ian quickly picked up the phone and called her brother, she told about everything that happened to her, she needed to take Lin Yu to the hospital. The hacker did not allow his accomplice to shoot a second time, because they had just nearly killed a stranger, and this could cause problems. As a result, the two girls took advantage of the moment and ran away, and the huntress began to blame the locusts for her failure, the guy reminded her that if they killed a girl from the Lin family, there would be a lot of noise. But even so, no one took his opinion into account, the red bee and the striped cicada wanted to find the runaway girls right now, they had already gone too far, they needed to bring the matter to the end. Meanwhile, the hacker was trying to figure out whether their former hostage was really a survivor, most likely, it's impossible to say for sure now. Chen, meanwhile, together with Yuan Susu went to help their friends, among other things, now Lin Yu could use items from the system. Because she is an official missionary, so the girl was able to use telepathy to tell the guy everything that was happening to them. Although the head of the student council was scared, her soul was in seventh heaven, because now she was even closer to her lover. Now they can't do anything stupid, it's best to find a safe place and wait out the chase there. But Doki had another option, since there were already three hunters, it would be better to use invisible water, because Lin Yu is now capable of this. As a result, Yin and her savior ran into the logistics terminal, her sister hid in a box, and the head of the student council asked her to be quiet. There is no need to worry about her, because the hero will definitely protect his ally, and besides, she can use an item from the store. Lin Yu began to behave much more confidently, from now on she has nothing to fear, because she has a reliable and loyal ally. A few minutes later, two hunters noticed traces of blood near the place where the girls were hiding, the red bee was sure that they were somewhere nearby. Small drops of blood led the criminals into a large and dark room, it even seemed a little gloomy to Cicada, he would never have hidden here. The head of the student council became a missionary at a very opportune moment, now if she does not make unnecessary sounds, the hunters will not detect her. At some point, the system notified the owner that when an ally uses invisibility water, his points are deducted at double the rate. Meanwhile, Lin Yu had difficulties, although she became invisible, the blood from her wound still continued to flow out, she should not leave any traces. As soon as a drop of liquid fell on the floor next to the red bee, the criminal immediately noticed it and revealed the girl's disguise. The huntress grabbed the heroine by the throat and ordered her to explain how she manages to be invisible, and the head of the student council asked her to let her go, because she is not the one they need. But in fact, the criminal didn't care who she shot at, fortunately, Right at that moment Chen appeared behind her and hit her on the head with a pipe. He, too, was under the influence of an invisible disguise, while the huntress was trying to come to her senses, the guy grabbed his ally and they ran away. Also next to them was Yuan Susu, using invisibility water on three people at once reduced the number of points very quickly. In just a few minutes, the guy lost several thousand points, and he had been saving them for so long, it was painful for Doc to watch. After a while, a hacker appeared right in front of the heroes, he had a bucket of red paint in his hands, did they really hope to escape just like that? The locust doused Chen and his friends with paint, now their disguise has disappeared without a trace, and the scientist only now realized that a second ago she was invisible, she wanted to study this in detail. At this moment, the red bee wanted more than anything to deal with the fugitives, now they have no chance of escaping. We need to come up with some way to get out of the stalemate, 
Chen argued that they did nothing to the hunters, do they really want to kill them right in the middle of the day? However, despite all the guy's requests, the Red Bee did not want to let anyone go, and the hacker suddenly recognized the same guy from the school competition. The spoiled mood of the criminal can only be corrected if the hero and his two girlfriends leave this world forever. To gain more time, Chen continues the dialogue with the Red Bee, if she kills three people right now, then getting rid of the corpses will be very problematic. Therefore, the best solution for the Huntress would be to let Yuan Susu and Lin Yu go, and the hero is ready to stay here and fight the criminal. Unfortunately, the girl with the gun did not want to fight such a worthless weakling like Chen, and since he cares so much about his allies, she would kill them first. Immediately after this, the Red Bee moved her pistol towards the genius scientist, but before that, she wanted to know who Yuan Susu was. After all, the criminal has never seen such a cute face in her personal data, unfortunately today the beauty have to say goodbye to your life. At the same time, the scientist did not pay attention to the threats and behaved quite calmly, she talked about her scientific research. In this world there is no such thing as luck, everything that happens or just the result of past actions, word scientist interested the hunter and she offered her an agreement. If the girl can explain the current situation in terms of mathematics, then she will be released, Yuan Susu happily accepted the challenge. Using mathematical calculations, she built relationships between the six participants in the events, the depth of her thoughts was amazing. The impulse of incredible brain activity was so strong that the Red Bee was knocked off her feet, she did not even fully understand the whole essence. In the end, even the hacker admitted that his accomplice had completely lost the bet, and the huntress, in turn, ordered him to shut up, whose side was he on anyway. This argument helped the heroes gain some time, Chen tried to come up with a way to turn the situation in his favor. Let's come to our senses a little, the red beat suddenly rushed to Yuan Susu and put a gun to her temple, of course the criminal did not keep her promise. Just as the huntress was about to pull the trigger, she was pushed towards Chen, if she really wanted to kill someone, she should start with him. Since the guy so insistently wants to die, the Red Bee will fulfill his wish, the next moment there was a loud shot and a bullet flew out of the gun. But for some reason the cartridge suddenly froze in one place, most likely this was a previously unknown ability from a special magazine inside the system. Somehow the hero managed to evade a shot from a firearm, such things cannot even be explained by science, real magic. The criminal could not believe her eyes, she had already managed to miss twice today, and Yuan Susu was trying to find a scientific explanation for this incident. The assistant with the ears was simply happy for the owner of the system, this guy is not so simple and you cannot defeat him with an ordinary pistol. Later it turned out that time really stopped because of a special skill, with its help you can make a thing slow down, but using it costs a huge amount of points. Such a sharp decrease in points was even life-threatening, but Chen had already died once, so he was not at all afraid of big risks. By this time, the uncle had already arrived along with several guards, it seemed that the band of hunters had completely lost the battle today. As a result, all three criminals escaped, and the Red Bee promised to finish him off the next time she met the hero, a typical phrase from a fleeing villain. Doka was so inspired by the guy's success that she got a taste for it, she recommended that he use banana skins, the criminals should not escape. However, the hero did not listen to her at all. He decided that helping his friend was more important than catching the villains, next time the girl should behave more carefully. Lin Yu still could not forget the incredible display of mental abilities that her friend demonstrated, she was at an unattainable level of intelligence. Now we need to return as soon as possible and pick up Ian, the head of the student council said that she hid her in one safe place. But when they opened the box where the little sister was supposed to be, it was completely empty inside, the girl could not even imagine that everything would turn out like this. In addition, the telepathy skill cannot be used now, because the hero spent too many points in a day, the situation was very deplorable. In the evening of the same day, the hacker called Jing Liang, the bully asked the criminal why he sent him an unconscious girl. It turned out that the locusts discovered Chen's sister and kidnapped her, for some reason, he was worried about her safety and sent her to a friend. After all, Jing Liang's house is equipped with the best security system imaginable, there is no safer place in the world. Only after some time did the bully realize that this girl was actually the sister of his sworn enemy, he happily agreed to take care of her. 
but the guy also asks his hacker friend not to act so unceremoniously next time, such things are usually warned about. In truth, the scoundrel did not even believe his luck, fate itself gave him a unique opportunity to take revenge on Cheng. Meanwhile, in the system space, Lin Yu was running for the second day, she was so exhausted that she begged for a break. But Doka was unshakable, because the missionary must run at least 10 laps, the girl, in turn, did not understand why she should do this at all. The assistant explained to her that no matter what subject the head of the student council specializes in, physical training is very important, and Lin Yu has problems with it. If the girl really wants to help the hero, then she needs to overcome her capabilities, then she will receive the title of saint. In the end, the missionary agrees, she is ready to work as hard as she can for the future of humanity, and Doka decided to change the exercise for her. However, doing abdominal exercises turned out to be even more difficult than running, the assistant did not even expect that it would be so funny to watch. After some time, Lin Yu was completely exhausted and Doka announced that she was already worthy of promotion, her stamina had increased. The girl also received the title of Holy Messenger, thanks to this new disciplines were open to her, and through constant development she can earn points. Returning to the real world, she, the head of the student council, noticed how the hero sadly looked at photographs of his family, she wanted to console her friend. But as soon as Lin Yu tried to do this, her whole body suddenly began to hurt, and it turns out that all her physical exhaustion was transferred to the real world. Because of this, the girl fell to the floor, but this did not stop her from supporting Chen with words, in fact, she still blames herself for what happened to his sister. In response to this, the hero asked her not to worry, because she was definitely not to blame for anything, now she needed to put aside all emotions and find Ian as soon as possible. The assistant quickly noticed how much the guy suppresses sadness deep inside himself, if someone helped him mentally, Chen would feel better. Some time later, the hero came to the observation room, where Yuan Susu was already there, the girl wanted to demonstrate something interesting. She managed to find footage of the hacker taking away the guy's sister, now they have at least some information, they can already work with it. Lin Yu once again began to blame herself for everything, but in fact she did everything she could, and the scientist also connected surveillance of various streets not far from the warehouse. One of these cameras was disabled, most likely this was the work of the same criminal who kidnapped the girl, this greatly complicates the search. Suddenly, the hero received a message on his phone with terrible content, the photograph showed his sister, in order to help her, Chen must come to one of the nightclubs. The uncle asked the guy if he had any news, in response to this the owner of the system lied, he did not want to tell anyone about it. After all, he has already caused too much inconvenience to his loved ones, now he will save Ian on his own, after which he will never lose her in his life. There were a lot of security inside the establishment, you need to come up with a good plan to get to the administration, there will probably be answers there. The hero used a waiter's uniform as a disguise, from the conversations of visitors, he learned that his sister could become a reward for the fighter who wins today's competition. From this information, the hero became incredibly furious and it was very difficult for him to restrain himself, were the hunters really so vile? Most likely this was true, because very close there was a place where you could register for the tournament, there were only a couple of minutes left until the end. Chen quickly ran to the table and asked to include his list of participants, he was so angry that the employee was even a little scared. Now the owner of the system and Doc must come up with a good plan, first of all they need to acquire useful tools, the assistant assured that she had everything she needed. But there is also one condition, special items are very expensive, now the hero didn't care about the glasses at all, he was even ready to risk his own life. If this at least somehow helps his little sister, then he will spend absolutely every point, he does not need a world where there is no Yin. When evening came, Yuan Susu began to worry about Chen, because he was nowhere to be found, so she called her uncle to find her comrade. The man said that he was going to invite the guy to dinner, but he disappeared without a trace, the guardian is also afraid that something might happen to the hero. In response to this, the scientist advised her uncle not to worry, she will find the hero and will definitely help in a difficult situation, besides, she already knows where he is. Meanwhile, Lin Yu was already standing near the entrance to the nightclub, she somehow found out where Chen was and came to his aid. 
It turned out that the girl managed to spy on a photo that was sent to the owner of the system on her phone, and suddenly several hooligans approached her. They looked rather unpleasant and made inappropriate compliments to the head of the student council, Lin Yu should definitely leave here. In order to properly teach the villains a lesson, the girl decided to use her new ability, she screamed loudly and ordered them to leave. But unfortunately, the ability only worked on one bully, and everyone else decided to calm down the daring beauty, now she urgently needs help. Fortunately, the scoundrel didn't even have time to touch the head of the student council, someone sent him to the cold asphalt with a very strong and precise kick. It was Yuan Susu, she changed into men's clothes so that no one would recognize her and followed her friend, it turns out that the girl also knows how to fight. Lin Yu was inspired when she saw how cleverly the scientist killed a group of hooligans, now she also wanted to change into men's clothes, she understood everything slightly wrong. In fact, it is too dangerous for the head of the student council to go inside the institution, it would be better if she stayed here, because the girl herself saw that photograph perfectly well. If Yuan Susu does not return from the nightclub with the hero in 10 minutes, then her friend is obliged to call the police, so she can be useful. At the same time, everyone who wanted to take part in the tournament gathered in one room, Chen arrived later than everyone else, and a lot of potential opponents were already waiting for him inside. The company was not pleasant, each of the fighters was ready to tear his enemy to shreds, and besides, the hero was clearly the youngest here. The guy decided to take a moment and test new items. He logged into the system and asked the assistant to show him what was available. Doka is happy to offer him a unique technique called the body of a god, it costs as much as 500,000 points and is not a permanent item, that is, it can only be used once. The technique will give Chen the ability to use the kung fu of the best martial arts masters, but since he himself is quite weak, the strain could harm his body. Therefore, it is better for the hero not to use the power of God for more than five minutes, this should be enough, after a few minutes the presenter announced the start of the competition. The opponent in the first round was the boxing master, who is also called the bloodthirsty iron fist, Chen needs to use time effectively. Suddenly, Yuan Susu ran into the ring, she wanted to help her friend, because most likely this tournament was an ordinary trap. In fact, the hero himself thought about it, but as long as there is a possibility that his sister is somewhere nearby, he is obliged to do everything possible. If Chen really wants to take part in the tournament, then the scientist is ready to act as his opponent, so she can defeat him without hurting him. However, they immediately tried to take the girl away from the ring, because she had not registered for the tournament, and therefore had no right to participate. The arrogant guard very quickly went flying, Yuan Susu knocked him out with one kick, apparently she is really very good at fighting. The audience really liked her, she combined incredible beauty and strength, this beauty managed to throw a huge man into the air. The host decided to take advantage of the moment and put on a real show, since a mysterious girl burst into the ring, it's worth giving her a chance. Today's fight should be very exciting, but the boxing master seemed to be out of place here, but he was not very offended. Meanwhile, one minute out of five has already passed, the owner of the system needs to start a fight as soon as possible, otherwise his ability will simply be wasted. In this case, the hero simply has no choice, he finally activated the god's technique and prepared for a fight with his girlfriend. The commentator asked a local expert to evaluate the balance of power, according to the man, the rivals have approximately the same level of ability. Yuan Susu wished Chen well, his self-esteem could suffer greatly if she defeated him in just a few seconds, she needed to play along a little. To do this, the girl decided to use some tricks, so the defeat of the guy would not look so bad. To the great surprise of the scientist, the owner of the system managed to easily block her kick from the foot, and yet she hit with almost all her strength. Chen was also able to push her leg to the side, causing the girl to lose her balance and open herself up for a counterattack. Due to his inexperience, the guy did not have time to make his attack and Yuan Susu again stood up, apparently she needs to act more seriously. But even after making every effort and accelerating her movements as much as possible, the girl could not break through the hero's defense, he reflected absolutely every blow. The confrontation turned out to be truly spectacular, the expert had never seen such skilled fighters, the speed of their movements was simply incredible. The scientist could not even touch the guy with her fingertips, 
it was very difficult for her to believe that Chen was also an expert in martial arts. Almost two minutes had already passed since the start of the fight, there was too little time left and the hero decided to carry out a powerful attack. She was so fast and destructive that even Yuan Susu could not dodge her, the shock wave tore her clothes to shreds. At the same time, the guy didn't want his girlfriend to get hurt, so he grabbed her and picked her up, he couldn't calculate the force correctly. Meanwhile, the stands were already applauding and congratulating Chen on his victory, today's fight will definitely go down in history as one of the most interesting. However, now is not the time to relax, Doka reminded the owner of the system that he only has 3 minutes to use the technique, and he still has a lot of opponents ahead of him. To maximize his potential, the guy asked the host not to take a break, he is ready for the next fight right now. Chen also showed a desire to fight all the remaining opponents at once, if the rules can be adjusted a little, he will be very grateful. The Iron Fist was infuriated by the guy's words, because in his opinion he was just an ordinary upstart, in order to put him in his place the man decided to strike right now. Despite the impressive speed of the boxer, the hero easily dodged his attack, apparently he would not be able to fight officially, so he decided to provoke his rivals. His assistant didn't really like this approach, because it could be too dangerous, but the owner of the system asked her not to worry. After the defeat from the hero, the scientist began to admire him even more, her special system for assessing candidates adjusted the assessment, now Chen was ideal for her as a husband. From now on, Yuan Susu is 100% sure that the owner of the system should become her husband, fate itself brought them together. The presenter did not like the hero's behavior and asked an expert for advice, the experienced fighter wanted to personally put the upstart in his place in the final fight. Meanwhile, the hero's plan worked as it should, all rivals without exception reacted to his provocation, now he needs to give it his all. The bloodthirsty fist was the first to fly, the guy was able to knock it out with a quick kick, the boxer didn't even understand what happened. The next opponents were lovers of traditional martial arts, all of them were confident in their abilities, but the owner of the system still turned out to be stronger. In the end, Chen used the strongest blow in the last seconds of the god technique, thanks to which all his enemies admitted defeat. The commentator could not believe his eyes, somehow a previously unknown boy managed to defeat the greatest fighters from different countries. The experienced expert very sharply changed his opinion about the hero, now he no longer wanted to go out against him on the battlefield. Therefore, Chen became the unanimous winner of this evening, the judge climbed into the ring and raised his hand up, and the system also awarded him a huge number of points for his progress in martial arts. These events took place over the course of 10 minutes, after the time had passed, Lin Yu began to get very worried about whether to call the police right away or wait a little longer. Suddenly the girl heard the howl of a siren, somehow law enforcement agencies independently found out about what was happening. It turns out that Jing Liang was the one who called the police, he pretended to be a law-abiding citizen and complained about illegal fights. The bully clearly had some kind of plan, Lin Yu knew about the enmity between former friends, she needed to inform her allies about it as quickly as possible. Meanwhile, an award ceremony was taking place in the boxing ring, two attractive girls in skimpy costumes appeared next to the guy. So that the head of the student council would not worry, Yuan Susu decided to call her and tell her about what happened, now there is no need to call the police. And when the scientist found out that law enforcement agencies were already at the entrance, she didn't believe it at first, so Lin Yu had to explain everything in detail. The fact is that in their school there is one harmful guy whose name is Jing Liang, he and the hero are enemies, the guys need to get out of the nightclub. The main prize for winning the competition was a special key with which you can open the room where the secret prize was located. It is quite possible that it was Chen's sister, so he tried to snatch the award from the presenter's hands, but he failed. The man wanted to first thank all the sponsors, in fact it was a huge mistake, for which he paid with several teeth. On the way to the exit, Yuan Susu told her friend how things were, they needed to quietly escape from this establishment. After some time, the heroes finally reached the desired number, Chinya's sister might be behind the doors, Doka was already preparing to celebrate the victory. But instead of Yin, there was a huge and ridiculous statue of an expert in the middle of the room, it was made entirely of gold and was probably worth a fortune. As a result, the guy received a lot of money for winning the fist fights, but where is his sister, 
have they completely lost track? Surely a group of hunters simply decided to mock Chen, they sent terrible photos to his phone and provoked him into action. Yuan Susu recommended to her friend not to be so upset, perhaps they still have a chance to find a girl, she asked him about his ex-friend. In response to this guy, he told a few details of their enmity, but he did not know that his sister was being held hostage by Jing Liang. In addition, it is unlikely that such an idiot like this guy will be taken into the group of hunters, meanwhile, the police have already broken into the nightclub. Chen and his girlfriend had very little time left, if the police caught them, they would have great difficulty finding Yin. Law enforcement agencies have already managed to arrest most of the fighters, the officer ordered his subordinates to closely monitor each of them. Yuan Susu and her friend went into the next room to gain some time, it turned out to be a dressing room and the guy had an idea. But the girl didn't really like being here, because there was no ventilation or other hiding places in the room, they could easily be discovered here. In fact, this is all the hero sought, because the police only catch fighters, if they change their appearance, then there will be no complaints against them. The scientist did not immediately understand what the owner of the system was talking about, but when he put on a woman's wig, everything immediately became obvious. The girl fell into a stupor for a few seconds, it turns out that women's clothes fit the hero very well, and now she also needs to change clothes. The assistant appreciated Chen's attractiveness in women's clothing, this was the second time she was lucky to see him in such a look, he definitely has potential. After some time, Jing Liang began to worry a little, because he called the police only to catch his enemy, but he was not among those detained. At the same time, the scoundrel is sure that Chen could not ignore the photograph in which his sister was depicted, he just needs to look better. There was the last room that the police had not yet searched, the scoundrel kicked the door with an arrogant smile, but he didn't find a hero inside, there were only two beautiful girls in the fitting room, the scientist decided to make herself a less bright image. After that, Jing Liang apologized to the beautiful ladies and left, in fact, he was looking for one fugitive and did not want to barge in like that. Now the owner of the system and his girlfriend need to try to exit through the main entrance, a policeman was already standing there and monitoring all visitors. Unfortunately, the officer did not want to just let Chen and Yuan Susu go, because everyone who was in the club must go to the police station to give evidence. The hero tried to lie and told a story that he actually got here by accident, but nothing came of it. As a result, the guy ended up behind bars, even in such conditions he behaved calmly and even tried to study something, but Dok Beckham every boring. Despite this, Chen was not going to give up, because his sister was still not saved and there were many things to spend points on, so he needed to learn something at the first opportunity. The hero wanted to look at his sister and he turned on her photo on his phone, at some point he noticed an unusual reflection in her eyes. Taking a closer look, the owner of the system and his assistant noticed that a huge golden lion was reflected in the girl's sparkling eyes. At first, Doka thought that the villains had gone completely crazy and took Ian to Africa, but most likely this was a decoration in Jing Liang's house, the guy once saw this thing with his own eyes. Now it became clear why the scoundrel sent the hero a photo of his sister, so he was going to frame Chen, now they need to somehow get out of prison. However, they couldn't do it so easily, first they need to wait until they are released from arrest, and then submit an application, and besides, they are too noisy. Suddenly, the director of public safety appeared next to the police officer and asked the police officer to do something else. Thanks to the help of a respected person, the hero was able to be released very quickly, a special unit found out all the details of that tournament in the nightclub. Also, the director from the investigation bureau recommends that the hero thank Yuan Susu, because she played a key role in a major investigation. Regarding the kidnapping of Ian, the man had already organized a second special unit for a special case, the guy, in turn, already knew where his sister was being kept. Despite this, the director did not take the hero's evidence seriously, in fact, this made sense, because Chen could be wrong. Near the police station, two girlfriends were already waiting for the owner of the system, they were happy when they finally saw him safe and sound. First of all, the hero thanked the scientist for her help, although he does not know what exactly influenced the investigation, but he is greatly indebted to Yuan Susu. When the girl heard this, she was a little embarrassed and claimed that she had not done anything special, she often helps the director in investigations. 
The hero also asked Lin Yu for forgiveness, because because of him she got into trouble again, but the girl replied that everything was fine, she was always ready to help. It turned out that at that moment someone was watching them, an unknown person stood around the corner and recorded everything on a voice recorder. This scoundrel was definitely one of Jing Liang's subordinates. About half an hour later, Chen and his girlfriends approached the villa. Based on all the clues they had at that time, this was where Yin should be, but there were also many guards guarding this area. In addition, the house was equipped with a very high-quality alarm system, if it cannot be hacked remotely, then the heroes do not have a chance. For such a thing, a professional hacker is needed, but now, unfortunately, there was no such person, Lin Yu had one option. After some time, another girl joined them, her name was Indies, she is the main maid in the house of Director Lee. The hero greeted his new ally and asked his friend again if this person really knew how to hack systems. Don't be confused by the beautiful appearance of this girl, Miss Indies is a wonderful and brilliant hacker, she once hacked the school system at the request of Mr. Lee. Now Chen really needs the help of a knowledgeable person, the girl with purple hair promises to do everything possible. This villa uses the highest level of security system, but since Indy studied at a good university, she knows how to hack it. With the help of a virus attack, the girl managed to turn off the CCTV cameras, but the security did not notice anything. Now the protective system in the area is not working, but this will only last for a few minutes, Indies cannot do more. Fortunately, the hero remembers where that very room with the lion is, you can get there in just 10 minutes, he wants to go first. Now the rescue operation has officially begun, Yuan Susu went with the guy, and Lin Yu covered them. As soon as the owner of the system and his girlfriends came out of their hiding place, they were immediately surrounded by a crowd of mercenaries, it looks like the owner of the site was prepared. The leader of this gang was the man who organized the underground tournament, now he has the opportunity to punish the upstart for whom he ruined everything. At first, Chen and the scientists thought that they had been discovered by the guards, but it seemed that these scoundrels had nothing to do with Jing Liang. The underground tournament was supposed to consist of 10 matches, but because of the hero it ended too quickly, the sponsors demanded their money back. In fact, these accusations did not make any sense, because immediately after the guy's victory, the police burst into the establishment and arrested everyone. Despite the hero's arguments, the blindfolded man stood his ground, most likely he just wanted to take it out on someone. Now the hero did not have time to mess around with all sorts of idiots, fortunately he had a very useful assistant, Indies jumped out of cover and instantly dealt with all the hooligans. Thanks to her secret made technique, she is able to leave no one alive with just one swing of a knife. Now Chen could calmly go about his business, the girl would take care of a bunch of weaklings. The bodyguards were distracted by a fight near the main gate, which allowed the hero and his girlfriends to easily enter the mansion. With a great feeling of hope, Chen burst into the room with the golden lion, but unfortunately there was no one in it again. In this case, there could be no mistake, Yin was vaguely once kept here, perhaps there are closed rooms. Suddenly, a huge passage opened behind the hero's back, behind which there was a long staircase leading to a secret basement. It turned out that there was a special mechanism inside the mouth of that same golden lion, Lin Yu had seen this in detective films. When the heroes went downstairs, they discovered that the dungeon was divided into three passages, with only three minutes left before the security system restarted. Therefore, the best solution would be to split up, everyone will go in their own direction, the one who finds Yin first must inform the others. Soon, Yuan Susu managed to find the hero's sister, now he needs to go to the place where they separated as soon as possible. Chen immediately found out about this thanks to his telepathy skills, he was delighted and wanted to return, but suddenly chains appeared on his legs. Yuan Susu and Lin Yu discovered that the doors near the fork had closed, had the heroes fallen into a trap? Soon a hacker appeared behind the guy, and he waited for their next meeting for a very long time. But the hero did not want to talk about anything with the scoundrel who kidnapped Yin, he tried to hit him with his elbow. But the villain deftly dodged, after which he called his name and asked him to calm down, he had been watching Chen for a very long time. It turned out that two separate security systems were installed in this house, so the hacker was able to detect the hero and his girlfriends. Now they are all trapped, but Miss Indies will definitely come to their aid as soon as she finds out about everything, they need to wait a little time. 
The criminal first of all wanted to find out more about Chen's intellectual abilities, he must tell everything, otherwise there will be consequences. On the screen there was a broadcast of two rooms where Yuan Susu and Lin Yu were located, if the guy remained silent, then they would be poisoned. The hero could not risk the lives of his friends so much, so he agreed to answer any questions, the villain liked such straightforwardness. But suddenly the chains on the guy's legs shattered into small pieces, he spent his last points to reactivate the power of God. The hacker could not believe his eyes, he had never seen such power before, this was clearly a unique ability unknown to him. In order to finish off the scoundrel as quickly as possible, Chen immediately activated the most powerful technique, the enemy had no chance to evade it. The attack turned out to be so powerful that the villain flew several meters back and stopped only after hitting the wall. After the defeat, the hacker had to release all his hostages, and finally Chen was able to save his dear sister. Now he will never lose her and will protect her with all his might.